I mean, you know, oh shit, look, dude, I had second time in a row, I started off on the wrong fucking so camera, thing. like a damn like newbie, a beginner. like a freaking amateur hour up in here, amateur hour, what's up people, happy, Yo. happy Wednesday, Wednesday as I say, and my kids make Wednesday. fun of me, because I say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no, they're still there. Friday, and my kids like, is it Wednesday, <laughs> is it Friday, they make fun of me. Because even though they were raised in St. Augustine, they act like they ain't from the South, which is weird. I'm originally from Kentucky, and I'm more Southern than these kids raised down here in the damn South. South. South, South, South. Jacksonville's not South, South. North Jacksonville, South as fuck. I got, I got fuck. news for you. I got news for you. Go over to North Jacksonville. Go out to Middleburg and tell me that ain't South. Well, yeah, out there, <laughs> but not where we grew up. All right. All right. Just so we're clear. Just so we're clear, I feel like we're a little bright again today. What's with the brightness all the time? The brightness. It's darkening us down a little bit here. Can I shut this door now so the dogs don't want to? <sighs> huh? Shut this. I feel like we're too dark. We're too dark. Huh? I have to shut that door. What's everybody doing today? How's everybody's week going? Hello. Ours is going well. We need to talk to y'all about a bunch of shit tonight, though. We got a little we bit do? of this. We got a little bitty ass cigar. Look at this little guy. Guess what that means? A little bitty guy. He'll finish it. I actually have a spare right here because I do not think this cigar will last until 1030. This might be the first ever live stream that we have to crack into a second cigar because I finished the first one so early. So, right. Don't tread on me in the house. Chris, Ivan, Jonathan, AJ, Travis. All my peeps, Sheila is up in this motherfucker and her big swole ass husband, boyfriend, husband, husband, husband. Uh, Dustin. Why did I forget if they were married? I don't know. They have the same last name. Yeah, they do. That's pretty fucking <laughs> stupid of me. Cigar. I'll, well, because sometimes I. Oh, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> sometimes I make the. Uh, Actually, sub- his name on here doesn't say it. I think it just says M. It does. Yeah. Sometimes I make the assumption people are married and they're like, oh, we're not married. Excuse mm-hmm. me. So I'm married uh, to him. Not married. Jesus. Oh, oh don't tread on me. Long ass is up in here. Rune Never. King. Snuggles Emily. Who else is up in here? Who else? Cross You Out Podcast is up. Cigarro Prepper. What is up? Come on, Stas. Jared is in here. Spades. Sarah Bear. Where's Guff? I see Sarah Bear. I saw Guffy. Guff's in here somewhere. Oh, Gufferino. Joe V. All my peeps. I'm going to stop reading names now. Sam. November Whiskey. What is up, my peoples? Good to see all my normal peoples. David Stewart in the house. Good to see all my normal people in here. Good to see all you guys. Hope you guys had a good week. It's been hectic as fuck here, as always. So you know what that means? No B-roll. Yeah, I'm beginning to... I think this is a... This is a... This is a... Uh, a streak. I think this is my worst streak ever. I think it's been three weeks now, no B-roll. There's been a lot. He's a busy guy. Going on. He's a busy guy. Do y'all like your merch you got? <laughs> All y'all like in your stuff? Sheila says, bitch, his ass is mine. His ass is mine, motherfucker. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been real busy lately, man. There's a lot of moving parts. More as I mean, I always complain about that, which isn't really a complaint because it's good. Because if you're not busy, that means business isn't good. And business is good because I'm busy all the time, which is great. Um, I have this bad habit of getting too many irons in the fire at once. I'm like, oh, I've already got four projects going. Should, let me finish one of these before I start another one. I'm like, no. nah, let me just start two more. And I have a really bad habit of doing that. I think it's my ADD. Um, it's a very bad habit. Of but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We will get back to some B-roll. I promise. Um, it would have been short B-roll, though. Because look how this little, little mini little... Allison said this looked like an uncircumcised wiener. And I said, if you're uncircumcised wiener... Well, I mean, not the, not the length, necessarily. Or girth. Or, either, or girth. Either one. Or girth. If this is all you're packing, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. I just meant, like, can you get a close-up in on the little... Nope, don't want to, because I don't want to get that in... Nope, nope. I, I don't I don't want to get that aware with a 
uncircumcised wiener. Okay. Uh, some of the stuff we got to talk to you guys about. We're going to get the cigar lit first, and then we'll go into all the things. No B roll, so that means I got to pull up because I'm not sure. This is not a cigar that I am super familiar with. Uh, I have smoked Zenos in the past, and they're normally pretty good. Zeno Davidoff. I mean, it's not a Davidoff, but he's in the Davidoff family. Uh, let's see. Pravada. Let me just go to Pravada. Pravada Dreamer's Heart. Let me see if Brian. Sometimes they don't have a lot of uh, stats on the cigar. Everybody got their stuff. Darren got a lighter. Oh, uh, how did everybody's um, ashtrays turn out? Boltastic got, wait, Bolt, yeah, Boltastic got a glass tray just now. The couple pictures I saw of the glass trays people posted looked pretty damn the nice. The pictures look great. You can't tell a thing. Um, um, the lighters went real quick, you guys. Dude, the lighters we went. We did not um, new. anticipate uh, them selling out new like that, but I did not. Y'all snagged those suckers up quick, fast, real fast. Like, but we love you for it. Yeah. The question is, <clears throat> is was there enough people? And we'll put a wait list out there. So, <clears throat> if you want one and you didn't get one, go out there. Still go to the website, and there will be a notify me button, and you can sign up to be notified. And what we can do, <laughs> this is called a chubby. That is the best Sheila thing. Sheila said it looks like a turd. Tapered on both ends. Um, and that way we'll start a list so we know how many people still want one. Because I don't want to do a whole nother batch. If like pretty much everybody that wanted one got one. You know what I mean? But I'll do another batch if there's still, you know, a, a good amount of people out there that, that did not get them and missed out and want them. So if you still want one, certainly go to the website, click on the notify me button. That'll start putting a list together. Not only will that let us know how many people want one, so we know whether to reorder another batch, but it also uh, you get on a notification. And if we do restock them, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So do that if you didn't get one. The second thing, let's get this cigar lit first. Let's do this. Let's 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 go to let's go to let's go to the ghetto B roll rig ghetto B roll, the ghetto B roll rig which is me holding this up right here, like this right here. Wait, where's focus? Where's focus? I need I need an arm. All rest. the guys that got the ashtray saying they hardly notice anything wrong with them. Well, and if, you know, if anything at all. And you know that we're super picky in uh, that is QC. So yeah, that is uh, exclusive and their awesomeness with the uh, quality control. If there's anything slightly fucked up. They're not pushing it through. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed them. Um, I'm glad you guys suggested it because it, uh, it was a really good solution. It got you guys some really nice ashtrays for a really good price. Helped us not have to eat a big fat dick on just throwing all those away. <laughs> so uh, it, it was a win-win situation. So I'm glad you guys. There's still some left. They are getting really low, though. I can't believe we almost sold out of those, too. But if you want one of those, I would go grab it because we're, we're also very, very, very low. Um, anyway, this cigar tonight is the Xeno Platinum Scepter, which I think is the coolest name ever. Scepter. Come on. Reminds me of a James Bond movie or something. Um, this one is a chubby, is what it's called, mm -hmm. which is hilarious. How uh, fitting. Well, again, back to if this is your chubby, you're struggling. But anyway, <laughs> it's only four and three quarters. So if you're only four and three quarters <laughs> when you're chubbed up, I'm sorry for you. Uh, by 50. So four and three quarters of 50. He's a little bitty guy. Uh, the description on the Parada website says, good luck with finding a better constructed cigar. Zeno Platinum Scepter Series offers great taste, a complex yet harmonious experience, and exquisite aromas with a range of strengths. So, strengths? Range of strengths subtle of both novice and experienced aficionado. A blend of different fillers from the Dominican Republic and Peru combined with a Connecticut binder and finished with a Connecticut Ecuadorian wrapper. Light to medium body but full of complex flavor. Contains notes of coffee, roasted nuts, cedar, complements each other, smooth palate with a delectable complexity. Brian had to write this. Only only Brian <laughs> only only Brian uses He's words like delectable complexity. I can't even say delectable. Um, yeah, Davidoff, the Xeno Platinum is expertly constructed and flawlessly executed. So that is the cigar we're going to be smoking tonight. Sorry we didn't have the super high-quality B-roll, but like I said, sometimes we've got to make do with the ghetto version. You know what I mean? Not a I mean. 
Sniff for the tip. What are we getting here? Anytime I get Connecticut wrappers, I almost never get. I mean, there's just not much there. Connecticut wrappers just, they're very mild to me. And there's not really a foot on this cigar. I mean, are you getting much? No. Maybe. I mean, it smells like a uh, paper bag. That's brown paper bag, right? I say that all the time about cigars. People are like, brown paper bag? I'm like, that's what some of them smell like, man. They smell like brown fucking paper bags. I can't yeah. I don't know Brown paper bag. It's a little bit of a little bit of uh, goat. No, nah, I'm not getting any goat. <laughs> I'm getting zero on the goat. Now on the, not really the foot because it's a closed foot, but where I cut. It smells good to me. There's a little bit of a hay note, like a sweet yeah, hay. Yeah, hay maybe. But man, <laughs> I'm in there sniffing. I'm deep. It's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm in there deep. I'm deep. <laughs> pillow to put underneath my ankle oh my god can you just hand me that pillow right nope there? sure can't can't reach it i need it for listen someone i gotta oh i gotta go back and find it in the discord somebody posted in there the chair the chair that i need and it's like a stool like this but then it has like a this other layer i like a pad for you to sit cross-legged oh good lord i uh I said, Allison said something about a stool the other day, and I told her grocery ride. I'm like, oh, you need somebody to push in your stool? Huh. And she was like, Bleh. He's so nasty. Bleh. I thought it was, it, was, it was quite good. Here, you really need this pillow? Yeah. Preach. The fluff pillow? Let's see. Well, let's see if I can make it work, though. I what just, are you finna try to do? I just need it on this corner right here so I can put my... It's like you got hemorrhoids, and you're trying to work out so a hemorrhoid I pillow. My, I just want to put my foot up here. Like that. That does not look comfortable. Well, at all. it would be if I had a smaller pillow or something to stick underneath. No, it. okay. Doesn't look comfortable. Doesn't look comfortable. By the way, if y'all haven't gone and watched the Blue Eddie video, go watch it. That video fucking bombed. Yeah. Yeah, damn. That video, that is the worst video performance. He spent so much time on that video. Oh, too. God, dude, with the testing and the fucking and the video. I took that video to 10,000 views. What? Is it just, is it 10? Yeah, dude. It's the worst performing video I've ever put out in like five years. I mean, that. They loved it. Well, a lot of people. That's the funny. Well, they did. The comments were good. The comments were good. The interactions were good. The thumbs up ratio was good, but just nobody's fucking watching it for some reason. I don't know. I thought, cool stuff, too. I thought it was awesome. I was pretty pumped really, with the Blue like Eddies. I feel like it's a really good, like alternative to mm -hmm. gas like generator really expensive gas power well generator. i mean those are expensive also they're expensive too but but i like the fact that you don't have to worry about dying yeah from, <laughs> because well, but even like the solar one that's what know? i'm saying yeah 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 what are you talking about well i don't i don't know so like know. the solar one i just think is neat you don't have to like you don't need power at all well right you don't you know what i mean to charge it well right yeah the other ones aren't the other, ones Solar? Off, the other ones run off gas. No, the other ones that you reviewed. What are you talking about? It's the first power stations I've ever reviewed. Uh, never mind. You're not understanding my question. These are the only power stations. I know. I'm not talking about a different review. I'm talking about this review. They, they run off solar. All of them? Yes. The big ones? All of them. Well, how come only one is called solar? There's not one called solar. Yes. No. There's one that's a solar... One says solar panel. Yeah, that's because that's what charges all the rest of them. That's the solar panel that... I didn't watch the video. We just had... I a, thought they were three separate Do things. you guys remember when we had the Bumblebee tuna situation with uh, <laughs> Jessica Simpson and she thought that it was the chicken of the sea meant it was really chicken? I feel like we just had that moment with Allison, y'all. I didn't know that that's how it worked. I didn't watch the video. You don't know yet. what solar panels are? Yes, I know what a solar panel okay, is. Okay, so one of them's a solar panel. The other three are power realize. stations. The solar panel charges the power stations. How do you not know that's how? I don't understand, baby. I don't know. I just I thought <laughs> I that. I don't understand. I thought that they, they had to be charged. Do you know what I mean? Like. They do by the solar panel. Like electrically. They can charge both. You could charge them via electrics. I didn't know. Electricity, if you have electric or if the power's out, you could charge them. Or if you're out in the woods, you could charge them solar. I thought you used the solar panel like that. You plug stuff into the solar panel no. to charge things. And you, the other ones were just charged electrically. And then once they were 
exhausted. That was it. That's what I thought. That makes him even cooler. Super, super chat, Eric Hansen. Uh, change the <laughs> subject. What? I just didn't know. $10. Appreciate you, Eric. Received my Quattro five footer this week. It kicks some serious ass and definitely heavy enough to bludgeon a bitch. For sure. Dude, I said that when we initially released them. I was like, I there was bro, if uh, all else fails and you're not near a firearm or anything and somebody breaks into your house, just chuck that fucking ashtray at them and they're done. Because that thing weighs like 25 pounds. Well, Eric, appreciate you, appreciate the support, brother, and I'm glad you're enjoying the ashtray. Holy fuck I know, balls. Ed. Ed Williams. Jeez, you just, see, Ed, you just cheered me up. My mood was going down because... I just realized my <laughs> wife's IQ is maybe in the single digits. I just wasn't and aware that that was the way they functioned. <laughs> Jeez. So I was a little sad. And your $100 Super Chat just cheered me up, buddy. I appreciate you. Ed, that's very generous, buddy. We appreciate the super, super large Super Chat. We appreciate all the Super Chats. Let me let me just say we appreciate we them do. all. So we it doesn't do. make it sound like, oh, we only like the large ones. Fuck you guys. We like all of them, but uh, the big ones are super generous. Here's a Super Chat in hopes that we can get... That sexy B-roll next week. Cheers. Uh, well, see, now, Ed, you're going to make me feel guilty if I don't. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to get the B-roll for next week. I think next week, next week we should be okay. Although next week I will be prepping for my camping trip. So that's that's a that's a problem. But I think I, I'll, I'll definitely try, Ed. Especially since you got to remind me that Ed threw, th threw in a fucking hundo <laughs> next week. If I'm like, I'm not going to have time for B-roll. You need to be like, Jeremy, Ed. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Look, Dustin, moving on. <laughs> See? Yeah, I saw it. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, y'all. I swear she's smart. You know, you're being rude at this point. <laughs> and you think I'm kidding. I am not. Uh, look, look, she's going to get mad at me, y'all. You can't. I've been mad at you for about five minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm, 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 mm. What did, what did Spade say? I need to. I, I was going to drink another one of those sodas tonight too. Shots fired. Uh, definitely. Spade see? said, she said she didn't watch it. I can see where she's coming from. If she was just seeing you with the equipment and stuff. Oh. I said thank you. Thanks, Spades. Because that's all I saw. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Super chat. Um. Wait, hold on. Wait, I just lost it. Here we go. Do you have more of those sodas? I do. That's cold? what I was going to drink tonight. Uh, Jordan Thompson. Bowling season is over. Finally caught up alive. I love the new lighter. Well, sweet. Dude, I like bowling. I don't bowl that much. We should go. We should take the kids. It's fun. I suck at it real bad. I don't. I, I uh, like real bad. I think it's because of my crooked arm. <laughs> Stop with the ammunition. Cause see, you're already mad at me, and now you're talking about your crooked arm. Start di start digging on your crooked arm, and you're gonna get more pissed off. So just stop with the ammunition. <laughs> just don't give me. Any more. She does have a fucked up arm, though, y'all. It broke on her growth plate it's when she's straight. So it's hard. Bowling is hard. I always joke around with her and tell her if anybody breaks in the house, I'm gonna give her the gun because she can shoot around corners with that crooked ass arm. I can. It's it's legit. I can. Though. It it does it. It looks perfectly normal. Like because rarely are you ever like walking around with your arms like this, right? So like you would never know because when you're standing like this, it looks. It's only when she straightens it and then this one goes past straight, and you're like, oh, that doesn't seem like it should go that way. No, it shouldn't. It does cause problem with her doing push-ups though. Yeah. Because one arm's like pisses me off. It every does. Time. It does make her mad. Um. Look at look at all these people better. trying to defend you. Look, Sheila, your girl comes in for of your, course, your defense. Of course, she look, did. <laughs> see if he's saying fight. <laughs> Me and Allison, I don't think. Other than when she, other than when she was pregnant, I don't know that we ever fight. Occasionally, we'll piss one another off a little bit, and we'll be like, "Hey, you can go fuck yourself." <laughs> And then two seconds later, we're back to normal. Like, I don't think... Uh, most of the time. I mean, have we ever gotten in, like, a legit fight? Like, years. It's been years. But when was that? I don't even remember it. We've gotten in some fights. Really? Yeah. I don't recall any of them. 
But it's been a lo- I mean, it's been a long time, like probably a decade. But I don't even know what we would have thought about a decade ago. That's when the kids were little. What's that noise? What's what you noise? You hear that scratching sound? Oh, man. I was just about to say something really mean. I was like, I shouldn't poke, <laughs> I shouldn't poke at her anymore because she's already mad. <laughs> Uh, you just teed it up. You keep teeing up these comments that normally if I had what what comment is that scratching sound? What is that? I was gonna be like it's a loose shit around in your head. <laughs> All that free space. <laughs> he thinks he's funny. Uh, uh, you see, he, he, thinks, got, he thinks he's ooh, funny. You gotta stop. Oh, I'm turning red. It making me making me hot from the laughing. See, you can't. I, t- I wasn't going to say it until you said to say it. Oh God. It's um, it's windy out there. The tree. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. As long as it doesn't rain on Friday, because I got to film uh, for that. I'm getting uh, the rack put on a truck. The rack. The rack. Um. Where did that go off I on a like tangent? Such a bum tonight. <laughs> I apologize bowling. for my we were, outfit tonight. We were talking about bowling. That's where it was. Uh, and I appreciate the super chat, and I'm glad you like the new lighter. Man, I really like the new lighters. The thing that I – I was a little concerned about the new lighters at first because when they said it was going to be an antique or a – I don't know. What do they call that finish? I think they call it antique or they call it uh, – I think they call it an antique yeah, finish. that's probably it. I was a little concerned when they said that because I don't typically like faux patina finishes. I like a natural – Patina. I don't, I don't want it to be fake patina. Um, so I was a little hesitant on doing it. But we did anyway. They sent us a sample. And I said, well, send me a sample and I'll use it. So they sent us a sample and I used it for a couple months. Or like a month, actually. And that faux stuff wears off really quick. And I don't know how it seems to like... When you say that, it that's it sounds bad when you say it like that. No, but it like somehow it like accelerates the patina ing. Like it comes this way, but it wears off real fast. Well, but but it, it but it like goes into all the other little yeah, nooks like, and crannies. It like pushes into all the right. Like I don't know what it does, but like that finish starts to kind of wear off pretty quickly, and then you're left with like this lighter that. And I said it in my one post because I posted a picture of the way my lighter looks in comparison to the way they look new, and I'm like. This lighter looks like another Zippo I have that I think is 15 or 16 years old. This lighter looks like that lighter after like two or three months. So the patina and kind of age you get on it like really quickly is pretty fucking stellar. I'm super pumped with the way it turns out. I'll probably do that finish on more Zippos going forward. Because like I said, I was kind of hesitant, but I I really dig the way it's aged. Oh, man. Um, I need to get a Sody Pop. I probably just let the cigar go out. You did. Mm-hmm. You definitely did. Well, that's because it was just a tip lit. It's just a tip. The tip? Tip. Just for a second. Just see how it feels. <laughs> they come with a stick. They come with a sticker on them. What? The zippers. A sticker. Yeah. What do you mean a sticker? They said they got to stop putting stickers on their lighters. Oh, I think they put one on the back to keep it closed. Oh. Like, I think there's like, if I remember, there's like one across here that kind of keeps it from Oh. it. You know what I mean? I think, I th- I'm pretty sure they do that. I hate stickers in general. I, I like stickers. Yeah. Like, I put stickers all over my cups and shit. Like, I like stickers, like the products that come with stickers. We send stickers in our packages. I don't like companies that put stickers on things. Or they should be the kind of stickers that, that peel. Like, like a 3M, like a post-it. Right. They peel real easy. Yeah. Um, oh, one of the things I wanted to talk about tonight, because I said we had a lot of things to go over tonight. One of the things I wanted to go over was we need to figure something out. Now, I will say we did the drawing for the the giveaway for last week with the Zippos, right? We had the Patreon specific one and then we had the general one. So anyway, I think something got fucked up because I had him draw the winners today for the live stream tonight. And he said, Alexandria Rogers 
is the winner for the normal drawing, not the Patreon drawing, just the normal drawing, people that bought between 8 o'clock when the live stream stopped at midnight. So, Alexandria, congratulations. You should have be uh, noticing a refund. I'm not sure if Brantley emailed you guys or not or if Exclusive automatically sends you an email, but you did yeah. get refunded your money on your Zippo. So you got a free Zippo. Congratulations. I don't know if you're Congrats. on the, I don't know if you're in the live stream tonight or they just purchased one. They happened to purchase one, but I mean, really only the people in the live stream knew about it. Yeah, but not everybody comments. Yeah. So I mean, anyway, there's a lot of people. That Alexandria don't Rogers. Congratulations. Now here's where we run into the, the slight rub. When we did the Patreon draw, according to Brantley, no Patreons bought lighters. <laughs> Because the link wasn't clicked. And I called bullshit. Yeah. And Allison was like, I don't think so because I saw a bunch of people in the Patreon say they bought them. So what we're going to have to do, because I guess maybe the link didn't work or I don't know what, but when he uses the link to try to track the Patreons that bought one, it comes up as nobody bought one, at least per that link. So what I'm going to need to do is we're, we're for the Patreons out there. Cause I, I don't want you guys to get shafted. Y'all are my peeps. Um, we're going to put a post on Patreon and have everybody that bought one just say, hey, I bought one. Just re respond and say, I bought one. So we have your name. And then I'm just going to make a list of the names and then we'll draw from that list rather than trying to draw from the link. Because apparently the link didn't work or whatever because it's saying that nobody was on the link. I know some of the Patreons bought them because you said you saw them in the comments saying, hey, I bought one, I bought one in Patreon. Yeah, several. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure I don't some, know. I don't know how many, but and I'm sure some of you guys that are in here tonight are probably Patreon. And then, of probably, course, we'll cross, cross reference and, you know, with the timing and whatnot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just yeah, to, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we can see once we have names, we can see if they purchased it, when they purchased, how many yeah. they purchased. I just need a list of names because the link apparently didn't uh, did not gather the names the way that he had thought yeah. because it came back as uh See, Trail, Trail Nation said he bought one and an ashtray. And this is like through through the link that's on Patreon is what we're talking about, obviously. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, man. So, again, and we'll put a post on Patreon so all the Patreons can see it, maybe if they're not on the live oh, look, stream. Mike Owen said Alexandria Rogers bought one for him. That was her purchase. Oh. So thank you. She subscribed on Patreon that day to order it for him. So that's good. Nice. Nice. Um so she was Oh wait, a, did she did she use the Patreon link? Yeah, but it that's why I said the Patreons had t potentially two chances. Oh, I see. Because the general drawing was just everybody. Oh, okay. And then the Patreon was the second one. So if you're a Patreon, you potentially had two shots because oh, okay. either the Patreon drawing and the general drawing. Um but um Gotcha. So she was one of the ones that got lucky. Yeah. See? Having that second, if she gets a drawing, she can't get drawn again in the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. You can't refund, too. Um, but anyway, so we'll put in a, a, a post out on the Patreon to explain what's going on. And then, again, if you guys just comment, yep, yeah, bought one, that's together, and we can do a drawing and make sure we give one back to the old Patreons for, for all the support. We, wanted to, we were trying to give those guys two shots at it, and we fucking dropped the ball. Well, we didn't drop the ball. The, I guess we dropped the ball. The, yeah. the link didn't work. I know. Long Ash was saying when you, cl when you click the Patreon link, it went to the general exclusive site, which I think was I think which was, was the right. Point. Yeah, which is the point. It wasn't supposed to go directly to the thing, he, he, but it was a, a track a trackable yeah, he, link. He built so. the link inside of Shopify, and that's the system they use. And supposedly, because he built the link in Shopify, it was a trackable link that it would show the purchases that came from that link just like when you do affiliate marketing and stuff, you don't have to link to a certain page. Most of these companies, if you guys don't know how affiliate marketing works with how those people on social media get paid from affiliates, you get like a 30 day cookie a lot of times. So like with beard brand, for instance, I'm affiliate with beard brand. I do a bunch of stuff with them. If you click on a link that I provide for beard brand, anything you buy from beard brand in the next 30 days, I get commission on because they consider that I routed the traffic there and they give me a commission. Now, obviously it doesn't cost you guys anymore. They just take a little off their cut and give me a little of their cut for, for providing the traffic. So um, that's kind of how that link was supposed to work on the back end. It just looked like a normal link, but it was supposed to track the people that it came from and it didn't do it. So I don't know what happened. I don't know. Um, 
Oh, what's up, Travis? Travis in the house. Need to take a, another pick uh, with mine with a better setup. Whatever, dude. That picture was fucking dope. What are you talking about? Need to take a better one. Look at this picture. Look at this picture Travis took. He was like, I need to take a better picture. This is a good picture, dude. Better than half the pictures I took. Where is it? Where's Travis's picture? Travis. Look. He's like, I need to take a better picture. So, oh, that's good. It's a great picture. I saw him, I saw him post that on uh, on the Discord. Oh, did he? he does, yeah, he takes good photos. So, he takes great photos. Man, some people got some really cool shots of uh, the eclipse. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. The eclipse was uh, was pretty cool. I uh, Did you see Pete's shot? No, did Pete have a shot? Pete went to Texas. Oh, is that why he was in Texas? Yeah. I haven't had a chance to catch up with Pete in pro- <laughs> I haven't had a chance to catch up with Pete. Is it on his Instagram? Yeah. I haven't had a chance to catch up with Pete. Oh, wow. With the two planes. I mean, what? Dude, get <laughs> out of here, bro. That's a fucking crazy shot. Yeah. yeah the, the people that got were able to get photos, like, at that, you know, those three minutes of, like, total totality or whatever they call it. Totality. The totality. Um. Uh, that would have been really, really cool to see. No, I need to actually text Pete. I have not got a chance to catch up with Pete. I bet you it's been over a month or maybe even two since I've talked to Pete because it's just been so crazy, man. It's been busy. Um, it's been a minute since me and Pete have caught up. I need to. And it was funny because last time we talked, he was like, don't be such a stranger, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's been like probably two or th- uh, probably at least a month and a half since we've talked. So I need to catch up with old Pete. I love that guy. He's such a good dude. Um, Let me get caught up. Oh, I need to quit fucking talking. Well, it's so lit. Good. I said that I was going to go through this cigar and need another one, and I've been smoking less and talking more than even more than normal. Okay. I put that post on Patreon. Hmm. So the, the okay. post is up on Patreon, so we can start gathering our list. Because I definitely want to give uh, one of the Patreons a free one for sure, for sure. And don't forget, go and oh, I want this is the other stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about. <gasps> Giving you guys sneak peeks tonight, little sneaky peekies, sneaky peekies. Let me see if I can get these. these oh are, yeah, these aren't going to probably show up well. In because they don't have a where oh, dark side dark side said pete was less than two hours from him and he didn't know it yeah he was telling me that the other day where is the fucking focus focus where's focus where everything's backwards in cameras so when you're trying to fuck it <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to get a black background and get it in focus and son of a bitch Where is it? Oh, fucking A. Anyway, you guys can see the new Viskies that are coming. One is going to have the hold fast banners on it. I don't think that's fully in focus, but I'm trying to get a dark background. Wait, I need to go this way. Uh, is that? Uh, fucking A, man. <laughs> My shirt. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I don't think it'll go over far enough. In my armpit. There's your armpit. There you go. Can y'all see that better? Yeah, so one one's got the hold fast banners on it. And then the other is got the newer uh well I shouldn't say newer, it's a variation of the skull logo that we've been putting on stuff lately. And uh we're gonna drop both of those at the same time. So you can buy them as a set, you can buy them individually, whatever. But uh yes, those are coming. Those are coming. And then the other thing. Uh, but no, they're, they're not a pair, right? You buy individually. No, you can buy, you, you, can, you can buy them individually. Um, are they sold as a pair, though? What do you mean? Like, they're just sold individually. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the only option. There yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm, no, yeah. They're, they're Somebody just, was asking if there was. I mean, I, we talked about buy, selling them as a pair, but then, like, some people may spend that amount of money or some people may like one and not the other. And then it's like a whole fucking thing. So we're like, you know what? I think it's probably the easiest just to sell them individually. And then if people want a pair, they just buy one of each. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it doesn't lock people into having to yeah. buy both. You know what I mean? And then the shop rags we talked about. That was my cricket arm, but you couldn't tell it was crooked. The shop rags, same, same deal. 
hold fast banner situation on one and the simpler kind of uh more i don't know what's the word i'm looking for i wouldn't say plain because plain's a bad word plain makes it sound like blah but it's like the more simplified um, version of the logo yeah simplified. i actually like this version of the logo a lot yeah um but yeah and these are going to come in a pair these are going to come in a two-pack we're just trying to figure out the packaging on those because they're shop rags and so we were trying to like Maybe think of something like wrapping them in paracord so that like the, the packaging was like useful to you guys. Like maybe put them in five or 10 foot of paracord so then you could actually do something with the paracord. I don't know. We were trying to figure it out. <clears throat> but I love shop rags. I always keep them in my truck. I keep some in the garage. So I was like, I think that'd be cool to do some shop rags. So um, I fucking good point, Dustin. I could have put the shop rag behind the glass. Rookie. Big brains on Dustin. That would have worked, Dustin. You had it. You had it. <laughs> that would have been. That would have worked. Because that's like the same color as. My yeah. Right. Shirt. Exactly. That would have worked. Dustin had it. He had it, ladies and gentlemen. He had it. He's not just muscle, ladies and gentlemen. He's got some brains in there too. <laughs> Daniel, what's up with the twin, twin, twenty? Thanks, buddy. Jeremy, how did you come up with your logo? It's absolutely badass. Was the design? Uh, was it your design or was it a collaborative thing? It was collaborative. I cannot draw like that. Um, I could when I was younger, but I don't do it anymore. You can draw really well. I can't draw actually. that well. Um, hold on. We have a really good graphic artist that we work with, uh, with Exclusive. And his name is Jody, very talented guy. And he also, uh, before he worked with Exclusive, he designed playing cards and he did a lot of other cool stuff. But um, he has his own playing cards at one point also. I think he designed some of Pete's playing cards. Am I remembering that correctly? Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong on that. But he did definitely decide playing cards. He had his own deck. Um, really talented graphic artist named Jody. And uh, he's the guy that he used to work as a contractor for Exclusive, and now he works full-time at Exclusive. And uh, me and him collaborated on that. I told him the idea behind it, what I wanted, and then he kind of sketched out some stuff. And then I said, hey, tweak this, tweak that. He kind of sketched out some stuff. I said, make this more like this. He sketched out some stuff. And then after mm -hmm. some back and forth, we, uh, we got there. And so that was the story on the logo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cigar pepper. <laughs> what do you say? It's a super chat. Soupy soup. Super <laughs> chat. Cigar pepper. Thanks, buddy. Uh, all the merch has my wife concerned about fanboying. Hit the like button. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I mean, nah, nah. I mean, you know, I wear a lot. Some of it, um, and that's one of the things I don't like to put like my name on all of it. Really, I figure the logo is pretty like mellow. Yeah, it's just a logo. It's not like some of the stuff has Jeremy Sires on, has like my name on it. But I don't do that on a lot of stuff because I realize that would be weird for a lot of people to just be wearing some dude's name, mm. which is why you do the logo because then it's not like. You know, it's just a logo like any other logo like for any it's, other. It's like if you know, you know. Right. And if you don't, it's just a cool looking skull. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nobody I mean, dude, I got. has to know. I got so much shit with the Pete logo on it that yeah. people might think I'm fucking fanboying and I don't care. I love Pete. He's a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I love me some Pete. He's a good dude. Um, we're not uh, even going to get into that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yak, Yakwe? Yakwe? Is that how you say that? Yakwe? Number updates. Uh, I, it's going to be a while. I'm, here's a number update. It's going to be a long time. <laughs> because we got, that one got backburnered so bad because we had to start with a brand new factory and all the things. And we've got so many projects going that that one ended up getting, it got backburnered. So we got to get through all the current shit we're doing before we get back around to putting time in that. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying never, it will happen for sure, but I just, it's whenever we can clear enough schedule to actually put some time into it. Um, oh, I just saw something. Can we get some new Leaf and Barrel merch? Yes, we can. This hat right here, this is not new, this is the older hat, but I had forgotten about this hat. Mm -hmm. And I was getting some new hats because I am hard on hats. I wear them out and... Uh, 
I told Allison, I'm like, I need to get on there and just buy three or four new hats and, and rotate them so that I don't wear them out so quick. And I was like, oh, I totally forgot about the fucking leaf and barrel hat. Uh, there are like, uh, I think two different designs of leaf and barrel shirts, the leaf and barrel hat. We need to get some that's like the leaf and barrel live. Hmm. You know? Yeah. How, like, um, like you, do you still do that on your, on the Instagram story? How it has like the live, like I, I the don't, neon I, I don't usually thing? just because usually I, I put it on. And today I didn't even or put did, it. I didn't even put like, it anywhere. anyway. That that one, like I've yeah. seen that you do, like a shirt like that. Let's see how many have, people are in here. Like the leaf and barrel logo. Yeah, and then. there's it's a difference because today I didn't put it anywhere. And there's only 222 people in here. Normally we're in the 300s, but normally I put it on YouTube and in a bunch of places. Today I was running out of time. I just made sure the live was up, and I figured people that know know. <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get to it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. This cigar, I've not given any notes, and I've blown through the first uh, third just because it's so short. It is see a little bit of light cedar. There's some cedar in there. It's nice. Cedar, a little bit of sweetness. There's a little bit of a nuttiness in there. What is that mother note that's in there? I want to <coughs> say it's leather, but it's not like a... The leather that's normal. It reminds me of leather, but it's not leather. What is that? It's like brighter than leather. It's not as earthy and dark as leather. It's like, it's like if you mixed leather with like cedar and you're like, well, yeah, dumbass. That's leather and cedars and a lot of cigars. Yeah, but it's like, it's like a, it's like a combined flavor that reminds me a little bit of like leather with the brightness of cedar. It's not two different things. It's like one thing. It's very confusing. I'm having a hard time with that one. Not really getting maybe a little bit of a white pepper, but not a lot of pepper. It's pretty mild. I would say for me, this is like a little under a medium, like a in between a mild and a medium body, <sighs> mild to medium ish, a little bit more than mild, a little bit less than a medium body. Very easy smoker. I can see this would be really nice in the morning with like a coffee. If you're not into super strong cigars in the morning, I'm a big fan of like a dark Maduro with coffee, but that's because I'm a bit of a fucking savage and uh, I don't care. A lot of people don't like real dark, heavy bodied cigars first thing in the morning. Um, but this could be really nice. Like in the morning with a, a nice, uh, what's that? I always, why do I always forget the name of my favorite drink? A sentimental gentleman? No, in the morning. Oh, uh, um, in the morning, the little bitty guy, it's, it's one part espresso, oh. one part milk. It's not like it's a latte, but it's a more, is it a flat white? no, it's like a flat white, but it's not. I think it's even, I think a flat white even has a little more milk. This is like an ounce and an ounce. It's a small <coughs> cortada, cortada, cortada. Yes, yes, yes. I always forget that name and it's one of my favorite drinks, but I forget it. Cause I don't ever order it out. I just make them at home. Yeah. I don't think I've ever, rarely have I ordered. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've ever ha heard you order that out. No, no. I don't trust them to make it. Especially not like Starbucks. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not trusting them to make a... <laughs> Dustin, fuck you. <laughs> Dustin says, <laughs> truly. Kiss my ass, Dustin. Uh-oh, what's wrong with Sheila? Somebody said, what's She's wrong with... She's tired. Oh. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Guffy says, definitely a mild pepper note. Yeah, it's real mild. It, it's... But Guffy, would you say it's not like a black pepper? I would say it's like a little bit of white pepper because it's like the spiciness of pepper without like the, the flavor of pepper. That's what I would say. Guffy's like, no, nah, bitch, black pepper. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Racist son, bitch. Why does the pepper got to be white? <laughs> you like it? I do like it. I'm trying to, there's a flavor in there that I can't get my finger around and it's driving me nuts because it's like, a, um, it's like, it's, it reminds me of like a, like a new leather. Does that make sense? New leather. Does that make new any leather? Yeah. Like yeah. new leather has a, 
like a brighter like a crispness. It's a crisp, brighter thing than like an old leather saddle or like an old leather yeah. bag or like an old leather whatever. Um, this is like it's like a brighter, crisper note, but it's kind of leathery. And there's a little bit of nuttiness in there, a little bit of pepper. The faster I smoke it, it gets a little spicier. I think that's all I'm getting so far. A little bit of that leather note that's freaking me out. There's like a nice underlying sweetness. There's some cedar. There's a little bit of pepper. White pepper. Uh, Guffy says, agreed. He agrees. <laughs> yeah, see, Thor says the same thing. He's like, it's a white pepper, bro. It's a white pepper. Oh, look, I get to use my shop rag. Because my eyes getting me. Oh, tell them what uh, what Jason came across last week. Jason, your friend Jason, Jason. the whiskey. Oh, you uh, you totally had me. Th- I thought you were talking about like a dead deer or something for a second. No, um, no. Um, so I'm at the gun shop because I hadn't been to the gun shop in like. Shit, it had been about a month because I had just been busy and I'd been out of town and then I was had appointments on Fridays and Fridays is normally my rant, my day that I go up and hang out with the guys at the gun shop. And uh, it's also the days I normally schedule work on my truck. So there had been a couple Fridays that I was up at the garage getting worked on my truck, which then, anyway, point is, hadn't been up to the gun shop in like a month or so. So I was up there, spent the whole day up there last week, hanging out with the guys, catching up, seeing what everybody was up to. While I was there, Jason's dad came by Jason's the owner of First Coast Firearms, by the way. Um, fantastic gun store if you're in the St. Augustine, Florida, North Florida region. But anyway, um, his dad came up and his, I think it was his aunt, his great aunt or aunt or something like that had passed away. And they had a whole big connex full of liquor bottles, like old liquor. I don't know if it was a collection. I don't know if she owned a bar at one point. I don't know. But it was a, a connex full of liquor bottles that she had had in her yard for god knows how long and um she had passed away so they were you know cleaning out all her stuff and her dad brought all this up to jason he's like here you can have all this liquor i don't really drink anymore dude there were three or four three or four i think it was three or four bottles of weller 107 antique from 19 like 70 something it was called the um the spider. Do you have a picture of it? The spot. Yeah, but you can't see the picture that he sent me. It was called the spider. Let me see if I saved it. The bottles, they're really cool looking. They look like they have little spider cracks in them, but they're not spider cracks. It's actually like gold, like little lines that are in the bottle. And it's like the Weller Antique 107 from like sometime in the 70s. Um, anyway, online, some of those, some of those bottles are going for like, three to five grand like they're they're expensive so <laughs> he sold a couple of them bitches but yeah he he kept one he sold a couple but yeah he had like three or four bottles of that and then like three or four bottles of really old blantons uh in there i can't let me see if i can find it again old weller 107 it was this bottle right here yeah right here this it's called the Gold Vein, uh, old, old Weller Gold Vein Original 107 Barrel. Uh, I think that's what it's called. It was like 1970 or something like that. I can't see the fucking picture now. I want to like blow the picture up. Visit site. What the fuck's going on? Here we go. They're not going to be able to see it in the... You're not going to be able to see the, uh, I need to get rid of the comment. <laughs> it's still blown out. Yeah. So you can't really see it in the, but there's like little gold veins all in the bottle. Um, but yeah, I knew immediately cause I hadn't seen a bottle of Weller that looked like that in my life. <laughs> I don't think. And I was like, Oh bro. I think you've got something there, man, because that seems like a really old bottle. So he did some digging, and yeah, he ended up getting a lucky little find there, man. There's nothing like uh, 
going through an old stash of liquor that you know it could have just been a bunch of old bottles of jack daniels and shit that wasn't really yeah. and some gems some fucking straight gems <laughs> diamonds in the rough uh let's see here shaggy what is up my dude thanks for super chat buddy what's up jeremy have you had fire <laughs> i have uh a long time ago once once David Stewart says she loves the gold vein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had Fireball once. I don't understand a lot of people's love for Fireball. It just tastes like a mm. Fireball. Do you like it? I I like it. Do you? It's I mean it's just it's just cinnamon. It's just overwhelming cinnamon flavor. Yeah. I mean I just. I mean I don't want to like. You know, drink it all night or anything, but I just I mean, I it doesn't, uh, there's worse things, you know? Hmm. Oh, I fucked up. Look what I did. Fireball and Dr. Pepper. Hold on. I got to put Sounds good. I got to put it back on. I, I prematurely, I prematurely and see, look, dude, it's not even nine o'clock and look where we're at. <sighs> look where we're at. Look where we're at. Yeah, that was quick. We are at. Oh yeah! Wait. Oh. <laughs> slide off the panties, sliding off the old panties. We have never slid off the panties, but pre nine o'clock. Never, never, never even pre ten o'clock. <laughs> no, sometimes not even by the time we get off. No. Um. Oh. What? We missed a couple of super chats. Did we? I guess so. I saw Shaggy's. Well, I can go right here. Super chat. Did Boop. you see Suge White? I did not see Suge Knight. White. I saw Daniels. We commented on that one. And who was before? Bowling Knight. season. I got that one. We the saw big, Cigar Pepper. The, I think just Suge Knight. I think just Suge Knight. We missed Suge Knight. I'm sorry, Suge Knight. Why wouldn't it let me click on it from here? Oh, add to broadcast. There we go. Suge Knight. Super chat. Appreciate you, brother. Sorry we almost missed you. I don't know what the hell happened there. Somehow I was probably off on one of my tangents. Mm -hmm. uh, Open C leather wallet with skull logo. Yeah, dude, uh, we did that. Um, hold on. I, it's about time for us to do another one, though. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago we did this. This was a collaboration I did with them a while back, and they sold out really fast. I think we only did a couple hundred of them. Um, they sold out real fast. But maybe I'll reach out to Michael and see if he's game to do another one. But uh, let me go back to this camera. This camera's not set up right tonight, so I'm having a hard time. I don't know if you can see, but it's the OpenSea Hobe, which was my favorite version of the OpenSea. But uh, mine is obviously, this was, by the way, natural veg tan uh, when I first got it. That's how dark it is because that's how long I've carried it. But um, where's the focus? I don't know if you can see, but there's the skull logo right there where he normally has his OpenSea leather logo. And on the back, I don't know if you can see that, it says, bad motherfucker. We did those um, a couple years back. This is an homage to one of my favorite movies, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, Pulp Fiction. Which wallet's yours? It's the one that says, bad motherfucker on it. <laughs> um, and then the skull logo on the front. Yeah, we did that back, I want to say it's been almost a couple years now. But yeah, if that's something you guys are into, chime off in the chat. and uh, Oh, they already did. I'll get with Michael and see if he's down to do it. <laughs> they were all. That's why he eventually put the super chat in because everybody was like, love uh, that idea. Love that idea. Love that idea. Oh, really? Really? So I even, I had wrote it down on my phone. I was going to talk oh, about it later. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Where is that at? It, it was way up. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. Sorry, I missed that, guys. I try no, to no, keep no, up. I fine. try to keep up with I had stuff. commented back to him. I was like, I got y'all. Because <laughs> I, I figured I would mention it to you, but. Oh, Travis got one. Thanks, Travis. You didn't have to do that, buddy. Rum Chata and Tennessee Fire Life Changer. Rum, rum Chata. Chata. Is it Rum Chata? Is Rum Chata that... Is that that like cinnamon milk, Spanish cinnamon milk? Yeah. Is that Rum Chata? Yeah. That stuff's delicious. Yeah. Rum Chata and Tennessee Fire. That sounds like something that would make my stomach hurt. That sounds delicious. That sounds like something that make my stomach... Real sweet stuff gets my stomach like... <laughs> I think it's because I've drank straight whiskey for so long that when I drink mixed drinks, and that's why a lot of the mixed drinks that I do partake in don't have mixers and shit. Usually it's like mostly they're whiskey forward. 
mixed drinks. A lot of mixers and sweet shit and drinks normally make, I mean, don't get me wrong, that shit sounds delicious because rum chata, if it's what I'm thinking it is, that shit is delicious. So I can't imagine putting a little cinnamon whiskey in it would be a bad thing. No. It's like the Mexican version of eggnog. Basically, yeah. Kinda. Maybe. Sort of. Chris says he needs a bad motherfucker. Uh, let's see. Let me They're get saying it. you could put like hold fast on one side and the skull on the other. Oh, Guffy says, fuck yeah. I don't know who's saying fuck yeah to you. But he's saying fuck <laughs> yeah. He might have been saying fuck yeah to the rum chata or he might have been saying fuck yeah to the wallet. I don't know. He's fuck yeah and <laughs> something. He's pumped up about he's it. He's pumped up it about it. Oh, rum chata is coffee. So what's the shit? Daniel, that his wallet's the Hobe. Is the Hobe. I love it. It's my favorite one. Um, so if rum chata is coffee, then what is the shit that I'm talking about? Rum chata about? in coffee. In. Oh, coffee. in coffee. Okay. So rum chata <laughs> is what I'm talking about. You're like, it's coffee. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm all fucked <laughs> uh, up. That was way off. She said, I've moved to bed, but I'm still here. <laughs> she looks good. She, she's transitioning. You got one foot out the door. She's got one foot out the door. See, what happens is once you go to bed, though, Sheila. Once you lay down in bed, well, at least you, for me, that's it. Oh, dude, you're I'm right. Gone. Sheila's on her fucking shit with that one. Huh? Coffee with that Buffalo Trace cream stuff. Mm. That shit is delicious. Yes. That bourbon cream Buffalo Trace stuff. Mm -hmm. Woo. That is real good. That shit is dangerous. When did we get that for Christmas one year or something? We got it at that gift exchange. Um, Isn't that what we got? I don't remember? remember. I don't remember. Remember that one that was like, um, we got it at the White ah, Elephant. It's, it's not Mexican. It's Puerto Rico. Okay. Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was a. That's right. I knew it was a Latin inspired uh, situation, but I get confused with my different uh, areas. Where did I? Where did I taste it? Where did I have it? <laughs> Somebody had it somewhere. Justin wants the HOA update. HOA update. They're fuckheads. They came back and said, no. You can't do black shutters, even if their shutters were black before. Because it's not because in it's, the color scheme. It's not scheme. in the color so scheme. Said, fine, I'll just... So we said, okay, well, we're going to repaint our color, our house the color that it originally was then. Because according to the rules, if we repaint it the color it was, we don't need your fucking approval. Which the color it was, was black shutters. <laughs> so we're going to paint our house and tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> That's the HOA update. <laughs> That's basically it. Um... Kiak suckers. <laughs> Fucking hate HOAs. God damn, I hate it. I forgot I had forgotten about that. Um It is a lot like the top cider, Daniel. It's very similar. I think it's a top cider with a little extra storage, if I'm remembering the top cider correctly. I think it's got because the the Hobe. I don't think the top cider, if I'm remembering correctly, has the uh, the pocket on the back. And the ho the Hobe allows oh my card's right there I can't show that. Um, the top cider has an extra flap, so you've got a little more storage, one more uh, organizational slot inside, and then you have the quick access like pouch on the back. I think some of the top siders you can get with like a line cut in it. It's like quick access, but this is actually like a little pocket in the back. I think that's the only real difference between the Hobe and the top sider, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, no, dude, I'm not an HOA guy. Yeah. Fuck the HOA. I unfortunately live in an we area that has an HOA, which I hate. I would like to buy land and get away from all this shit, but because my kids are in school and where we're at, and I'd hate to yeah. move them districts and stuff like that. So it's We'd a also, I mean, we've been here for, you know, over 15 years. So. Yeah. We put a lot of money in the house. So it's, I'm trying to save enough money where I can buy a second house, have some land and get the fuck away without having to get rid of this house. Cause we put so much money into this house that it would fucking suck to, 
get rid of it at this point. Plus, I've got it dialed in like so good. I got my outdoor kitchen. I got yeah. all my grills out there. I got my pool. Like I got my cigar room up here, and it's just at my gun room. It's like I got this house dialed in. Yeah. The thought of starting all over just kind of makes me want to fucking puke. But I do want some land so that when I want to go postal on the people that live in HOAs type situations and those type of Karens, I can get away and avoid going to jail. Um, cause I would prefer not to go to jail. Uh, Darren Martin. What is up? My dude is a super chat, uh, drop into the fund heading out to the neighbor for the neighbors for a bit of barbecue and whiskey. Be watching from the phone. Nice dude. I mean, Hey, That's hanging a good out with, way to spend a Wednesday, hanging out with the neighbors, drinking some whiskey, eating some barbecue. Mm-hmm. Fucking get after it, Darren. Thanks for super chat, buddy. Uh, what's HOA, uh, homeowners association. So certain neighborhoods, for whatever reason, this is the worst idea. Most neighborhoods these days, honestly, if your neighborhood was in the last, built in the last 15 or 20 years, they have a homeowners association, which is a group of assholes that are busybodies, and they sit around and make sure that nobody's having fun. And they suck. And they're Karens, and they have nothing better to do, and their lives are miserable, and their husbands and wives hate them, and their oh, children God. are dicks. And so they have nothing better to do but like pick on if your shrubs are fucking trimmed and your doors the color that they prefer. Miserable cunts is what they are. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Where am I at? Where are you at? Where am I at? Okay, I'm caught up. Yeah, take that HOA, you fucking cunts. Have we talked about how the word cunt in America is like a big deal and overseas it's like a term of endearment? Um, we haven't talked about it, but it is true. I think that's great. That's why I use it. And every time I use it, Allison's like, oh, Jeremy, you guys. I don't like using, that word. You guys stop using the word. I'm like, it's a word, bro. It's a word. Over, I just don't like it. Like in England and in, uh, I know in Australia and stuff, they call like their friends like, oh, you silly yeah, cunt. Yeah, but it's different. We don't yeah. do that here. Well, so I, this isn't Britain. I, I identify as a Brit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> if, if we're going along with the bullshit people are into these days, I am identifying as a British or Australian person. And you can't say anything <laughs> about it because if you do, you're transphobic. Isn't that how it goes? Isn't that their fucking weird logic? <laughs> Uh, super chat from M Miley for for forty nine. I thought it was four ninety nine. Forty nine bucks. These super chat. These guys are crazy tonight. These super chats. A little bribe to do another Zippo order. I'm a slacker. LOL. Um, let me know, M Miley, because I know. Send us an email. We'll say that. Send us an email, but we we may still put in another order because. Um, Depending on how many people sign up for the wait list, the, we found out that since we've already put in an order, our minimum order quantity is less. So we don't have to order like hundreds this time. Oh, we can that's good. We can do a smaller order. So if enough people sign up, we'll, we'll put in another small order and then, you know, help you guys out with that. But I do greatly appreciate the bribe. <laughs> I will always accept bribery. Um, okay, I think I'm caught up again. What now? What are we going to talk about? Well, there's lots of stuff to talk about. I need to break into a drink. I'm over here fucking dying of thirst because I'm... Yeah, my water is gone. I wanted to try another one of those soda pops. Dude, so how about... Yeah. You, you know the card that had all the shit? Did you throw it away? No. How about when I was taking the shit and putting them all in here, it hit the floor and went <laughs> under that fucking refrigerator. <laughs> no. Like, look how thin that crack is. What are the odds of that bitch going like <laughs> straight under there? So now I don't know. I don't know. You can pull it up on the website. You can pull it up. I actually just had, I had the website open from last week and I, I closed it. Which one do I want to try? Which, which one do you want me to try tonight? Some of these are weird, y'all. The one we had last week was fucking delicious. It was the... Uh, what was the one we had last week? It was the... We had... Let's see. This is the variety pack. Whoops. Uh, oh, Lord. 
Oh, Lord. Oh, here's all of them. You had the Royale. I had the Royale. The Royale with cheese. The Royale with cheese. Here's, here's another little dig to my, my favorite. Coffee, chocolate, nuts, and vanilla was the one I had last week, and it was delicious. I highly recommend try those. Now, the other ones is where it starts getting a little more quirky. Well, let's, let's pick one that has... We got the Vinny, which is allspice, ginger, molasses, and herbs. We got Candlewood, which is cherry, earth, beets, and oak moss. Tower 44, which is saffron, patchouli, grapefruit, and rose. That's my vote. Which one says... Uh, but this, this one says... Enhances the fruity, bright, and vanilla flavors hidden within bold and leathery cigars. Yeah, well, but this isn't a bold and leathery cigar. You said it was leathery. Uh, bright it's, 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 and it's, leathery. It's not, a typical, it's not a typical leather. Okay. Well, the Vinny says it pairs well with either very mild or full-bodied cigars. Well, fuck. That's all the way across the board. Um, I don't like ginger. This one says reveal your cigars citrusy, excuse me, creamy. And woody nuances. I'll try the saffron. I'll try that one. Um, the the Tower Forty Four. It's saffron. Tower Forty Four. This could be weird, y'all, because check this out. This motherfucker's got patchouli in it. Okay. What I love what this guy's doing because he's doing some strange shit, and I like weird shit. Hold on, we got another soupy soupy. The Cross You Out podcast. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Just ordered hey, the Glass Trade Quattro and red bandana, and now. A Viking patron, you fucking wow. ledge, Thanks, you, buddy. you ledge, um, and have to say the cigar scissors, <laughs> clap them cheeks, y'all. Well, buddy, I'm glad you enjoy the scissors. Thank you so much for the support. We love you. I hope you like all your new shit. Um, he said the Vinny too. See the Vinny, dude. I can't do the Vinny. Somebody else said the Vinny. Dark. See the Vinny. It's got my. It's got ginger in it. I don't like ginger. So I'm going to have that. Yeah, but it just, it's a little, it, it, it's, I feel like it's different when it's in a drink like Look, that. Look, we'll try a couple of them. Okay. I'm going to try the Tower 44 first. Tower 44. Personally, I think that if those scents were in a candle, it would be fantastic. Right. Well, see, that's where I'm kind of like a little fucking weirded out, right? Because <laughs> like patchouli. I don't. I like the way patchouli smells in a candle. I don't like the way it smells on a hippie who hasn't showered in three weeks. Um, it does not cover up bo as much as they think it does. Um, but I do like it in a candle. I had a candle that was like patchouli leather or something or another, and it was really good. Wow, that smells just like the grip for it. That smells really fucking good. Smell that. That smells nice. I'm not going to lie. That smells nice. Mm. It smells nice, doesn't it? It's very citrusy. Very citrusy. That smells nice. Mm. Taste it. Why didn't you taste it, you sissy? Well, I was going to let you taste it first. I'm supposed to do it with this cigar. It's actually really fucking good. It's really good. Mm. It's really Ooh. that's really good. I think I like that one better than the other one. Uh, you might not be wrong. I thought this one scared me because of the patchouli, but I'm gonna tell you what. There's something about yeah. the the grapefruit. But there's like a creaminess. There to is. It. It, I feel like a lot of these, there's like, at least the last one, I felt like it was a like cream soda base. Remember I said I yeah. thought the other one, I feel like that one also has like a cream soda base. Yeah. And I don't know what actually makes cream wow, soda. Oh, Maurice is finally here. Maurice yeah. in the house, y'all. What is up? Had to deal with protesters at work today. What? 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 Protesters. Yeah, this is good. I like it. Sorry, buddy. Hopefully, hopefully that didn't suck too bad. No, that, that drink is delicious. Let me see how it goes with the cigar. So these, you have to order. I think you have to order them online. If you go to last week's live, actually, we probably copied and pasted it into this one. I probably did. Um, um, it's down below. It's a company it's called... In the, yeah, it's actually... 
It's in the description. It's a company called Abina. Abina. We and met him at uh, Provodicon. Yeah, we met this guy at Provodicon, and his whole thing is he wanted to make like craft sodas for people to pair with cigars and stuff, right? So that's his whole thing is mixing these crazy flavors that you wouldn't traditionally find in a soda, but he thinks pairs well with cigars and other cocktails and stuff like that. So it's a really cool and interesting yeah. idea. Some of the we thought it sounded neat, and we were like, send us some. We'd love to try. It's so. a super, and I will say right off the boot, only one of them, I was like, yes. The other three flavors, I was like, I'm a little afraid. Because if, yeah. you, if you have a soda that has patchouli in it, you're like. Yeah. It's like you have to just give them a try, though, because but they're good. Well, at least the two we've tried so far are good. Sheila's out. She's asleep. Dustin says she's asleep. She's asleep. Um, it's delicious. Yeah. It's delicious, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I might like that one better than the other one. It's like grapefruit. You get the grapefruit, like the freshness from the grapefruit. But then there's this like nice, sweet, creamy yeah. kind of flavor underneath. And there's all the other shit that it said mixed in. But it's so like well. It has rose. And I taste that like on the after, like, like on the back end. Rose and saffron, I think, or something. That's good. It's delicious. I like it. That is delicious. Fruity, bright, yeah. Balls over the moon. Sorry, I'm reading the thing. It's what I already read out, I think. Naturally flavored saffron, patchouli, rose, and grapefruit. I would have never thought that that would have tasted like this. They do have sample packs, Edward. Yes. Matter of fact, that's what he sent us. One of the things they have is like a 12 pack. It's like 50 bucks. Yeah. You get three of each flavor. You get three of each flavor. Um, and then I think there's like a, yeah, that's the 12 count variety pack. You can do a custom 12. It's any kind of 12 count is 50. Forty-eight. Forty-eight bucks. You can customize it into the ones that you want, or um, oh, you can do. There's a discovery, which is a four pack, so you get one of each um, for only twenty bucks. That would be a good. And way And then you get twenty-five off with your next order if you order one of the twelve packs. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent off. Sorry, um, on your next twelve pack order. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's probably what I would. And go twenty with. bucks just to try it. I don't know how much shipping is, but. Yeah, I feel like twenty dollars to try them is cool, and then you get twenty five percent off your next order. Like that's a pretty cool deal. And then you it's can figure eight dollar flat rate shipping. And then you can figure out what you like. I think I yeah. think it's really cool, man. I like the idea behind it. I like the fact that he kind of went out of the box and did something weird and quirky, yeah. uh, and that he's designing these to be paired with cigars, which I think is cool because there's it's not just a, nice to have another option. Like yeah, if you I, don't want to drink a whiskey or I don't know. I don't always want to drink. I don't, sometimes I don't want to be like, you know, he always, he really likes the club sodas and this is kind of that, but like with a twist that really brings out like more stuff. So, yeah, I don't always want a beer. I don't always want a whiskey. Sometimes I just want, like I've said before on here a bunch of times, I enjoy root beer. I enjoy cream soda with cigars. Um, so this is kind of a cool, cool option. Cool. Something a little, something different. And he's also got like recipes for cocktails where you can mix these in cocktails and stuff to make a cocktail with them. So Oh yeah, I need to try that. So if you uh wanna booze it up, you still can. Damn it, my cigar went out. I'm gonna let her go. Um but yeah, that's really good. Now I'm gonna have to taste the other one. I'm gonna have to taste the other one. Like now? Yeah. Just because now I'm curious. Travis said that he would go a couple people. Travis and a couple other people said the Vinny. The Vinny. So now, even though I don't like ginger, I am uh, I kind of want to try the Vinny. See what's up with the Vin. Oh, Vin. November Whiskey. You got a still Austin? Oh, nice. I missed the, I missed the original. What did you get? I missed your first, first comment. Oh, S still Austin single barrel cast strength. Oh, nice. Do we have that? Yeah, one? buddy. I'm sure we do. We got that cast strength. I think the dark was the cast strength. That one was cast strength. I'm sure we do. Well, that they're all right there together. 
I know, I can't see the one behind the other one. I think that's another one of the, the rabbit ones. Were you gonna were you gonna give one of those to your mom? Yeah, if I yeah, well. Cast cast strength rye. Okay. So it's probably that one. And this is cast strength. That's bourbon. Bourbon. So it's probably that cast strength rye over there. Why? Well, because I, I mean, I think they only make so many of them. Well, why wouldn't it be this one? Because that's a cast strength bourbon. He said cast strength rye. Did he say crack? He, he just said single barrel. Did thought, he say rye? I thought he said rye. Oh, I lost it now. Oh, well, anyway. Cast strength rye. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, mi I missed the rye part. Yeah, yeah. That's my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. one. Yeah, 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 I love yeah, a rye. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guffy said he already fired through his. Now he's cutting and lighting his air bears. <laughs> nice, nice. Isn't uh, done with mine? Cutting and lighting air bear cigar. You, Sarah Bear didn't smoke her cigar tonight. What's going on? She not feeling good? I saw her in here. She ain't smoking tonight. What's happening? What's happening, Captain? This is a good cigar. Yeah. As it's getting down toward the end and it's had some time, it's getting a little, it's still like, oh. my, it might tap dance on a medium. It's, it's still barely a medium. But the flavors did get a little richer, I feel like, as we've gone down. Some of the brightness died down a little bit and it's getting a little more, um, some of the more darker sugary flavors and some of the, I wouldn't say earthy, but like some of the more almost honey sweetness or maybe almost like a caramelly sweetness. Yeah. It's definitely here toward the end. It's getting a little, little darker, not dark like a Maduro, but like it was really bright and light in the beginning. And now it's kind of, it's kind of the base is getting turned up. The treble's getting turned down a little bit. If that makes any sense. Somebody say, where can you get the shirt? You can get it on our website, which will take you over to Bunker Branding is who does all of our apparel. You can get it there. But if you go to the website, it'll link you right over to it. Click on the website. What is it? You go to our website and they go to apparel. Is it apparel? Um, I don't know. It's changed now. Just go to shop and it it should be. It should be. Self-explanatory. It, 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 should, it should be something. It but yeah, be. go on our website. You'll see it. I think it might be under like gear or something now. That is delightful. <laughs> I can taste the patchouli, but it's not what you would think. It just adds kind of a nice like earthiness. Earthiness, to it. yeah. Yeah, it brings it down because you got the brightness of the citrus, and the patchouli just and you, it's like citrusy and then there's like this creamy sweetness and the patchouli just kind of brings it down a notch to give it like a good bass note. Yeah. Speaking of the, the music terms again, brings <laughs> in the bass, but it doesn't taste like you're licking a hippie. Although maybe it does. I don't, I've never licked a hippie if I'm being honest. Uh, maybe I'll have a little pour of that. What? Dustin got me thinking about it. What's that? This rye, this bottle and bottom rye. Little rye. Little rye for that ass. This one. Little rye. It's the one with the bunny on it. That's the most recent one. Oh. I'm dragging a little ass tonight. No, I have not washed them. Grab one from down there. Those are washed. I did. You got one from down under? Yeah. From down under? Uh, <laughs> Colin G in the house said he just got his kid to bed. Hope you're having a good night. We are. Hope you are too, buddy. Um, I'm gonna taste the bed. The Vinny. Travis said the Vinny. Travis said the Vinny was what he would taste. Now, I'm gonna say. The, the Vinny's got an uphill battle for me because the Vinny has ginger in it. 
and I don't generally like ginger. Like, I don't like ginger beer. I like ginger ale, but ginger ale doesn't really taste like ginger. I don't like ginger beer, though. There's quite a few cocktails that Allison likes that call for ginger beer. Fuck, I'm struggling. I'm on the Allison yawn train tonight. I am struggling tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy is tired. It has been a long week. I'm going to say it smells nice, though. I'm not going to lie. What's in this one? This is allspice, ginger, molasses, and herbs. Hmm. Smells nice. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Mr. David Stewart, the next video I got coming is uh, it's a beard video. It's what not to do. What to absolutely 100% not do to your beard or if you're trying to grow a beard. Things not to do. Big no-nos. Beard abuse. Mm. What does that smell? That's the next one coming up. Should be out next day or two. Be out before the end of the week. Weird. That one weird. I don't know about that one. You don't know about that one? If she didn't like it, odds are I'm not going to. So, so far we got a win. But maybe with a cigar. With the pa- with the you know, Tower 44 different. and the Royale. What is that I taste? Get a big thumbs up for me. Oh, it's, I think it's the allspice. I think that I taste. Like, don't you just taste like baking spice? <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't. I don't like it as much as the other two. Well, maybe it, maybe with a cigar. Indigo orphan bill. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Did we ever do that? We did. We, we did. We did. It's actually pretty Indigo good. Indigo hour. It's Is actually that what you're pretty good about? with a cigar. That's a super chat, by the way, that, that I'm reading. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to get to it. Super cheesy from Michael. Thank you, my friend. Okay, let's talk business. Let's talk, Michael. <laughs> Is that the Indigo Orphan Barrel back air? Yeah. Middle left, top shelf. Can I get a note or two? Thanks for the great stream. Um, yes, you can. We'll have to get a, a, a Glenn Care on. Uh, last time. It was what, good. What did we say that reminded me of? What there's something that would reminded me of. I mean, I guess I can drink it again and then I'll have the notes for you. But um, there's something last time that I said that it reminded me of, and now I can't remember what it was. Hmm. So the 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 Tower Forty One or Forty Four big win, Royale big win, the Vinny. I like it. I don't like it as much as the other two. And depending on your flavors, I think you might like the Vinny. And it's actually pretty damn good with a cigar. Some of the notes in the Vinny actually pair well with the cigar. By itself, it's a little strong almost. But with the cigar, it was kind of nice. Um, I will get to the, the whiskey, though, Michael. I'm not going to forget about you. There's a little, it goes through a transition that I don't like. I like it on the front. I like it on the finish. There's a little spot in the middle where there's like a funkiness that I'm not crazy about. But then the finish is really nice. The finish is nice, especially with the cigar. The Tower 44, like an eight and a half or nine. Yeah. I'm gonna this give I'm gonna give the Royale like an eight, eight and a half. I think I actually do like this one just a tad <coughs> more. I'm gonna give the Vinny like a six and a half. I kinda like it, but there's also some things that I don't like about it. But that's my personal thing. I definitely suggest you try it. You might love it. I'm not a huge ginger fan either, so that could be throwing me off. I don't want to forget about these. But I do want to get a pour of that. <coughs> Get a pour of that there orphan barrel from a dude. Uh, My short ass can barely reach it. Get it out of here, motherfucker. Why'd you have to move out to put that in there? 
Nothing. I scooted everything over. Oh, oh it was the red runts. This, this one had red runts. <laughs> this one had red runts. Yes, sir. This one did have the old runny. Oh, they said we're lagging and freezing, buffering. There's a glitch in the matrix. There's a glitch in the matrix. It's probably the wind. Nah. I think it's just YouTube does that sometimes. Because when people are saying that, it's like happening for some people and not happening for others. And um, also, also, let me do this real quick. You doing a speed test? Mm-hmm. It's only freezing on my TV. Phone is still good. Who knows? Who knows? It's a little slow at the moment. Slow at the moment. I mean, it shouldn't be freezing, um, but it's not running at the normal like 300 that it normally is. It's running more like at like 40. The 40 still should be more than fast enough for it to do what it needs to do. Give it a second. It'll probably clear out. Mm. Now, see, somebody, Dan or somebody, I think was in the live when we tasted this. Oh, yeah. And he was saying that he heard that this was Dickel. And this does not remind me of Dickel at all. Yeah, because we talked about that because I didn't really like any of those. The Dickels. Do you not smell like red fruits? Like red, I always say red runts. Like cherry... Apple, red, ripe fruits, jammy. Yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah, what I, I get that. That's what I get. That doesn't bring to mind red runts necessarily for me. It always does for me, whatever reason. <laughs> no, do you, but do you get like fruity? Like red that's fruits. Sweet. sweet, red, fruity. Little. You said last time, if I remember, you said apple juice. Did I? I think that's what you said. Daniel says, HOA is messing with your internet. <laughs> they probably are. They're probably watching. HOA is buffering you. They're probably what? watching. And they're out there snipping our lines or something. Let me see. Let me do another test. Somebody said it's fine now. Let me see. You don't still have it pulled up? Go yeah, ahead. It's faster. Ooh, it's, so yeah, it's speeding up oh, a little bit. Sorry, y'all. Speeding up a little bit. It'll probably be all right. Yeah, see, Dan don't know what he's talking about. He said it's not Dickel. It's MGP aged in Kentucky, bottled in Tennessee. Um, yeah, that's why when Dan said that he heard, he well, he said he heard. To his defense, he did say he heard that it was, uh, it was Dickel. But I immediately was like, Nah, dog. This doesn't smell like any dickle. I, <laughs> I can't. I can't. It doesn't smell like any dickle I've ever had. Um, Cause this is very like fruity, very sweet, fruity, red runts, apple juice, a little bit of barrel in there, but mostly all I'm getting from the nose is just fruits, red fruits, maybe a little bit of cherry. A little bit of cherry, a little bit, of, a little bit of red runts. I say red runts. Everybody makes fun of me for saying red runts, but it's what my nose smells. Damn it! What? I know. I haven't seen her in a long time. Let's see. Notes. The red fruit comes through. Sweet, fruity, jammy. Reminds me of like red jammy. There's definitely some like uh, almost cinnamony, bacon spicy stuff that comes through and some oak influence on the very end, on the, on the finish. But up front, I'm just getting like sweet, nice red fruit, ripe red fruit kind of flavor. I'll have to get a couple more sips because I am coming off like multiple sodas and shit. So my palate's probably a little wax. Let me get a few more sips of it. We'll dial it in. But right off the rip, I'm getting like a, a sweet um, <laughs> sniffing dickle. I, I'm getting um, a sweet, fruity, 
a little bit of barrel influence on the end, a little bit of like a cinnamony kind of thing, potentially at some point in the middle there. But um, mainly like a sweet red fruit jammy sweetness on the front. Kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit of the old school um, bottle to bond, blue bottle, loved it, and then fucking Sazerac bought it. Wait for the chat. Give it about 20 seconds. Having a stroke. Blue Bottle, Bottle and Bond, used to be like the best buy in whiskey. Sazerac bought it. Uh, used to be like $27 for a liter. And then Sazerac bought it. And I don't think it's as good. I haven't had a bottle since Sazerac bought it, but I've had a lot of people tell me um, that it's... Oh, I fucking got a bottle right over here. Hold on. Early times. <laughs> Early times. Early times. This is one of the... This is one of the... Where is Nicole been? That's a good point, David. I, I, we need to re touch on that. Like, wh wh what happened to Nicole, man? Where's Nicole? Is she all right? Is everybody good? Yeah. You know, when she, last time that she was in here, she was saying, like, her work schedule, you know, she just had a lot going on. This is still some of the OG stuff before Sazerac bought it. This was one of, in my opinion, one of... <laughs> now everybody's chiming in. <laughs> See, I told you. One of the best buys in bourbon you could get a straight fucking liter of this shit this was a liter right 100 proof liter and it was like 27 28 bucks max like you're you can't fucking beat that bro you can't beat it now i will say it's kind of like a sore dick you can't beat it i will say it's been a while since i've had this so let me let me pour it sometimes something reminds me of something else and then I go back and I go, oh, yeah, this reminds me of this. And then I go back and taste it. I'm like, mm, that doesn't taste like mm -mm. that at all. So let me see if my, my memory serves me correct. But to me, this kind of reminded me a little bit of that. Hmm. Wait, which one's that? The nose. The nose is different. The, oh, this, this one's the early times? That's the early times. The nose doesn't have the fruitiness that I remember it having. I remember it getting a lot of red fruit from early times, but I'm not getting it at the moment. So you're saying like this is similar to this? Yeah, but in by the nose, I'm, uh, either that bottle has changed because it sat for a long time, half uh, half empty, or I'm I'm... This is way fruitier than that, or I'm misremembering how much I like that or something. But I, I, I'm pretty sure I've had, I've drank about five bottles of that shit in my life. <laughs> Does that smell fruitier to you? <laughs> Choking on the fumes. Yeah, this smells fruitier. Yeah, this, that is red fruit, man. Red ripe fruits. That I don't know if it's worth the price, this orphan barrel stuff, because orphan barrel are so expensive, man. I got mine at Costco, so I only paid a couple hundred bucks for it. But like I see these all the time online for like four to six hundred bucks. I would not pay four to six hundred dollars. I paid I think one hundred eighty nine at Costco. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm remembering correct, I think that's right. That's still a little high. I don't like spending that, but it's a very good. I really enjoy this. This is a very good bottle. Let me do a little side by side to see if the early times is what I remember. What I remember. It's still really good. <laughs> it, I will say, tasting these back to back, this is a little more refined tasting. This has got some, I, and I never notice it when I'm drinking it by itself, but coming right off the heels of this. And that's why I always tell people like to, to do AB comparisons. Cause a lot of time when you're drinking a whiskey by itself, you get an opinion of it. And it's not until you compare it to something else. Do you go, Oh no, well, that's actually a little, because I always thought this was a skin in my memory. I haven't had, haven't had a pour of this in probably a year, but 
I remembered it as being like this red fruit, really good, sweet, nice. And it still is very nice, but there is a couple little rough edges in comparison to this. Yeah. There's a little bit of a bite, like a little bit of a bitter, like barrel bite on the early times that this does not have. This is just smooth and sweet and easy the whole way. This, while still delicious, especially being that you used to be able to get it for like $27 a bottle, doesn't taste quite as um, balanced as this, mm. if that makes sense. This one was really good. It was really smooth. Real smooth. Oh, Winston out there. Yeah. Mm. Back to back. Substantially sweeter. Don't tread one of me to show that to you. No. Hey, go with him. Yeah. He made that. Do you make it or find it? He made it. Oh, nice. Damn. Well Very done, cool. sir. Well done, sir. Georgetown. It's pretty impressive, man. You know, that's what people used to kill motherfuckers with. You know what yeah. I mean? That was all we had. We had to figure out how to make uh, sharp sticks into sharper sticks and dull stones into sharp shit that we could stab stuff with. So don't tread. You put him out in the woods, he's going to kill something. You give him a rock, and he's going to get after it. <clears throat> Eric Hansen with the soupy soup. Thank you, my brother. What am I doing over here? Uh, let's see what Eric says. Where we at? There we are. Speaking of Costco, I recently picked up uh, a couple old Granddad 114s for $32. For that price, it is absolutely outstanding. Dude, old Granddad 114 is another one of those underrated hidden gems for the price. Now, is it, you know, going to stand up to like a orphan barrel or, you know, a $100 bottle? No, it's not. But for the price, it is absurd how good it is. It is absurd. It is one of those hidden gems. It's kind of like the the benchmark series, Granddad, um, old Granddad 114, uh, Wild Turkey 101. Uh, what was the other one that I was uh, the the Old Forester or not Old Forester? The um, early times bottle and bond. There are some of those bottles out there that are just far too good for their price. I'm glad they are. I'm glad they're out there, but they are just, they're, they're punching way outside of their weight class, way outside of their weight class. And I do believe old granddad 114 is one of those bottles. I do. I do. Soupy soup from Michael. Thank you, my friend. Soupy soup. My gut says not worth the price. Buy Remus or ET. Uh, Remus is good. Um, you know, what's funny about Remus is... Remus Repeal Reserve 5 ruined me. Ruined me. Remus Repeal Reserve 5 was a phenomenal bottle of whiskey. It was so fucking good. Everyone since then, they're still good, right? And, and here's why I say it ruined me. If I would have had some of the other ones and never had five, I would probably think they're great. But since I've had five and I still have almost a half a bottle of it up there. All the rest of them just aren't as good as comparison, man. They're good, but five was just so fucking good. You know, have you ever had that where like the first one you have so good then all the rest, like they don't, it, it, if you would have had the rest first, it might've been different because you had that outstanding yeah. one first, the rest kind of pales in comparison. Yeah. That's how I feel about Remus. If I would have had some of the other ones first, I probably would have been like, Hey, this is great juice. But because I had the five first, the five was such a fucking, it just clapped them cheeks, bro. So good. Mm. So good. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Another soupy soup. Got, like a bunch of supers. Thank you for the info. BC mm. is expensive as fuck. Uh, mm. The Lodgy is sick, though. I love Barter House. It's because. Because? Because? BC. BC? BC? What? BC, BC it's because. because it's expensive as fuck. BC, what's Logi? Logi? Man, I can barely read. Y'all can't be throwing, <laughs> y'all can't be throwing shorthand in here on me, dog. All right, I'm I'm old. <laughs> I came from I'm old. I came from a time when we didn't shorten everything up. You know what I mean? We just wrote the shit out. Um. The other day, I you're welcome, buddy. I Thank you for the super chats. <laughs> I abbreviated something. Actually, it was the word something, and I was texting uh, 
Jarrett, and I think I put SMTG or I don't know, something like that. And he corrected me and was like, that's, that's not, that's not the right, the right letters. What do you mean? It's supposed to just be like STG or something like what that. What the hell is, what are you talking about? For something. About? The word something to abbreviate that. Oh, you can abbreviate something? Yeah. Oh no. SMT. SMT. What's SMT? Something. What the fuck? Why don't you just write something? Kids don't do that these days. Everything is abbreviated. Here's the thing. These lazy motherfuckers don't even learn cursive, and now they can't even write words. They're like, that's too much trouble for me to type out that word. Get out of here, Gary. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why aren't you lazy? Yep. I got to go. I got to go never. Let me piss everybody in the chat off because I'm going to use the number that will probably be 2026 before it actually comes to <laughs> before it actually makes it out. Um, you know, that's one that I've never tried, Daniel. I always wanted to try birthday bourbon. Me too. Never had it. One of the ones I've never had. Never had me some birthday bourbon. Nope, nope, nope. But I love me some old Forester, so I'd love to give it a try. Oh, let me ask you a question. This mm -hmm. doesn't have anything to do with cigars or whiskey. Okay. It has to do with my car. And for some reason, it just popped in my head. Alrighty. And I figured the chat might know the answer. <laughs> yeah, I... yeah, y'all. Read this comment while she's talking. What? Oh, yeah. Smash that button. Smash that. Smash that bitch. When, I, when my car is idling and then... I start to accelerate. Uh -huh. It sounds like water is rushing like underneath my car. It sounds like liquid, like moving underneath my car. Even Jarrett heard it the other day. He was like, why does that sound like, you like water in your car? You know how sometimes you would hear it like if you had a leak in your door uh -huh. and you get water like in your door, but it's not that. It's not in my door. It sounds literally like it's underneath my car for a while i thought it was like i, I, I don't know i didn't I, i've never heard I it know what i thought well i'll just have to show you next time you're in my car oh your car's almost brand new i know i don't know that it's anything wrong i just um because i mean everything is fine everything checks out i have the on star thing all my uh -huh. shit is fine um it's just like a weird it must be like i don't know can you like hear the gas in the tank i mean maybe or some type of like coolant or something like there wouldn't be any coolant, coolant like from the air condition like mm, no there's no like the seat. what about from the seats from the seats i don't know is there some kind of like no something that like no no no, no, no. the only thing i could think of that would be under you would be your gas tank that's what it, i mean it sounds literally like it's underneath yeah that's the only thing that would and be when under. i looked it up on google like in reddit and stuff they were talking about it being like in the dash mine's not no, 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 in no, the no. dash no, the only thing the only thing that would be under you would be um, your gas tank. That's the only thing under there that would have liquid in it that I can think of. See, people are saying water in the doors, but it's not. It's not no, in the doors. It's, it's not in the doors. Her car is also way too new to have water. I mean, in the it's doors. brand new. There's no, you know, there. It's not, and it doesn't sound like it's in the doors. It literally sounds like it's underneath, and I only hear it sometimes. <laughs> see chris said the same thing Mason these seconds said, bunch of lazy fucks they are dude go back up to my cigar oh prepper that happened happen with my 23 chevy well I, I get that you get that in the mustang don't tread hmm okay check the drain tubes in the doors it no, does I, have a sunroof yes hit that like button cigar prepper Hit that like button and get 200 to support Piper Oil Bay Pipe Night. or something to do with the AC. Maybe I'll just ask him at the dealership next time I go. Piper on the Bay. Travis and Jess said it's the Blinker Fluid Reservoir. That's very specific. Oh, my God. What? Allison, just stop talking. Hit the like button and get 200 to support Piper on the Bay Pipe Night. They want that pipe knot, a pipe knot, pi, uh, uh, cigarro <laughs> prepper, and uh, piper, uh, piper on the bay. Want that pipe knot. Um, the reason I said just stop is because that is they're totally joking. Oh, and the fact that you didn't get that immediately, 
is number two for the night. No, of, like, I thought maybe Jessica. I don't fucking know Simpson anything moment. about cars. Okay, you could tell me it's my blinker <laughs> fluid reservoir, and oh I'm gonna believe God, it. Oh my God, just stop it, please stop, please. Well, actually, what was going in my head was not blinker. nothing. I tell Obviously, you what was going on in your head. Fucking fluid. nothing. <laughs> what was in my head was wiper fluid. That's what was in my head. Um, but that you, would be a lot of wiper. If you think fluid. blinker fluid is a real thing, then what's going on in your head is. Obviously, there's not blinker fluid, but I didn't really think about it when I said it. Yes. Um, this sounds like a lot of fluid. A lot of. I would water. be willing to bet. But it's it, not in my doors. Okay. What? I would. I would be willing to bet it is your gas tank. That is the only thing under your car that has any f enough fluid for you to hear it. Yeah. Water in your doors does make a sloshy noise. But I've had that. But before. but yeah, I I, that and that's is. usually in older cars when the seals go bad. And it's very distinctly in the doors next to you. If it's underneath it, I would say it's probably your gas tank. But uh, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Hilarious. Got her. Got her. Laugh, <laughs> laugh. They're like, Allison, bless your listen, heart. Dude, you got to bless your heart. I, I, listen, that I will take that because. You know what comes, bless your heart means in the South, I right? I know what it means. It means you're a fucking at, retard. We say that at work to people all the time. <laughs> I'm well aware of what it means. Um, and I fully uh, accept, like, I, I own that. I don't know anything about cars. You could tell me it's anything, and I'll probably believe it. Even blinker fluid, because you never know. I'm telling Might you. Might be a new thing, you know? <laughs> Travis says, I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no, she's not going to. You were like, eh, what's no, blinker? I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, Big Al's allowed to have strokes, too, y'all. I, it's not a stroke. It's just complete ignorance about cars. I have no idea. Um, okay. I'm not asking the chat nothing ever again. Okay. <laughs> I give it five minutes. Y'all, you'll be like chat. What's up with blah 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 blah. Hmm. Uh, Adventure Smurf says uh, water bottle under the seat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking it's the gas tank too. That was kind of my Mad Hatter's out. He's out. Later. Later, Tater. Um. <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> Don't Trez says, uh, Big Al and Jeremy are swapping roles tonight. Jeremy's yawning and Big Al is stroking out. <laughs> we, we have switched. See, the difference with my strokes, are, uh, though, are I, I can't talk. And I draw blanks. Big Al... I don't think her brain's hitting on all cylinders. My tonight. brain isn't hitting on all cylinders in, lately in general. I, I will say we were both complaining about being very tired earlier. So I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm blaming it on tiredness. Because I actually, even though I give Al a hard time, Travis, I, know, I don't know if I can trust you now with this question. Oh, okay. No. But my AC is always on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's piss bottle under the sea. You know, this is funny. Now, this is a good thing for us to talk about in the chat. This is a good thing for us to talk about in the chat. So, you know, we're doing the tent camp camping and overlanding. By the way, uh, I should be going, getting the roof rack on the day after tomorrow, Friday. And then next Friday, I'm going up to Georgia to do the um, bushcrafting meetup, camp out thing in Georgia with Taylor and some of the guys from battle box. It should be a good time. Um, mm. and we'll probably, I'll probably film some stuff while we're up there. Maybe do some pocket checks with Taylor, film a little bit around there and we'll take a, a look at Taylor's rig thus far in his build. Maybe we'll do a little walk around in my rig thus far in the build. And we'll, we'll we're going to do some content up while we're up there probably. But, um, this is the question made me think of it. Cause he said it was my piss bottle. My uncle up in Kentucky has also been getting into overlanding. He's been going camping. And it's been cold up there. And we were talking the other day. By the way, finished. Not even 10 o'clock. We're down to hot lips over here. I was talking to him the other night. He was talking about it's cold. He's been running a diesel heater, which he said has been working really well to keep the tent nice and, and warm. Because I think it got down in the 20s the other night when they were out camping. And he said they were still comfortable with the diesel heater. But... He was complaining about getting out of the tent at night to take a piss. He's like, man, it's nice and warm in that tent, but when it's 20 degrees outside and you got to climb down that ladder and get out the fucking tent, it's cold. I said, dude, why are you getting out of the tent to piss? He's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm like, buddy, you take a Gatorade bottle. Who is this? Tony. 
Yeah. I said, you take a Gatorade bottle up there with you. You got to have something with a big mouth because otherwise you're going to piss all over yourself trying to get in a normal bottle. You want something that's got some girth that you can get your whole junk in the bottle. <laughs> you, you piss in the bottle while you're up there. Put the lid back on. Throw it down at the bottom of the tent or whatever. Drop it outside on your truck or whatever. And then you don't go out of the other tent. He's like, dude, I ain't sleeping with a bottle of piss. And I'm like, it's a... Cl- oh, dude, if I was a dude, I would definitely do it's that. It's a sealed bottle. It's not... I don't mean to drink it. I mean, it keeps you from getting out of the tent in the middle of the night. You put your dick in the Gatorade bottle. You pee. You put the cap on nice and tight so you don't get piss all over your tent. And you put it down at the foot or you put it over away from where you're at. It's, it's done. And then you don't have to get out of your tent in the middle of the night. Does anybody think that's weird? He acted like I was telling him to like wear a diaper and pee in it or something. I, he was like, I ain't sleeping in a tent with the piss. I ain't sleeping in a bo- uh, tent with a piss bottle. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? That's mellow as fuck. <laughs> so anyway, curious. If you guys think that sleeping in a tent with a piss bottle is weird. I don't think it's weird. I think it's much better than getting out of the tent in the middle of the night and fucking taking a piss in the dark, getting bit by a fucking snake or something. <laughs> Okay, see, Travis does a lot of overlanding. Look, let's see what Travis says. Piss bottle is a must-have. Just make sure it's, exactly, just make sure it's large enough mouth and big enough bottle. I filled mine up before because it was too small. Yeah, you want to make sure it's one of those big-ass Gatorade bottles, one of like the one-liter Gatorade bottles. Because you don't want a, a small bottle where you pee and all of a sudden you're, you're getting full and you're like, you got to cut midstream because cut midstream sucks. Yeah. Stopping midstream is miserable. And you definitely got to have a big mouth one because trying to line your into your pecker up with a bottle like this and pee in it, that is going to be a mess in a tent at night. And you don't want to do that either. But yeah, you get a big mouth, like one liter Gatorade bottle. And unless you're hung like freaking Ron Jeremy, you should be good to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see? James says his kids use bottles all the time. Look at all these people who use piss bottles. See, I'm going to tell Tony when I talk to him. <laughs> So when is the Visky piss bottle coming out? (laughs) They do have a girl version of a piss bottle. They do. Just get the hospital. Yeah, you could use the hospital piss containers. But Uh, but they're not. uh, I don't feel like they close. They don't seal as good. Yeah. It just like. It like snaps on. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, a Gatorade. It, was, you, it could spill. A Gatorade. You can crank that lid on and that piss ain't coming out of there. Uh, let's see. See, he has a urine bottle. Got an EDC camping monthly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Girls can use it. Yeah. The she wee. That's what it's called. The she wee. Have you seen that? No. It's like a, it kind of looks like a cup a guy would wear. Okay. But obviously, most cups of guys wear they're have just like funnels the urine. Yeah, and into. you you put, but it's it's all like a soft like silicone type stuff, and you and then it's got like a funnel and a spout, and you cup it under there, and then you can you can do your business. Yep. See, long ass says Gatorade piss bottle all day long. <laughs> Guffy says he's just gonna man up and go outside. Hey man, if you want to go for it, I'm pissing in a bottle. I get it. Where in Georgia? It's in, um, I just looked it up the other day. It's actually further north than I thought. I thought I was going to be able to get there in like three or four hours. It's going to be about a six hour drive for me. It's in, um, it's the bushcraft something or another. Hold on. Six hour drive and 84 tanks of gas. It is not 84 tanks of gas. You stop it. Uh, I will have to use uh, probably three going and coming. It'll probably be about a tank and a half. It's, um, hold on. I got to look it back up now. Where was it? Where's my, I have too many windows open. I got too many windows open. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Bushcraft, Georgia, 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 Bushcraft, April 19th to 21st, uh, Watkinsville, Georgia, April 19th through the 21st spring 24 camp out, Georgia, Bushcraft. Is what it is. If any of y'all are in the area, come hang out. Looks like if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into camping and bushcraft. <laughs> Pisky. Pisky. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah, see? Warm piss in a bottle makes great feet warmers. Just 
seal it up real good, throw it in the bottom of your, bottom of your sleeping bag, and you got a nice little warm little foot warmer down there. Dude, you can't. Stopping, stopping once you start is uncomfortable. I'm just saying. <laughs> don't dread the snakes. Don't bite me. I bite them. That's what was that thing where he says, Coach, calm down. You're going to have a stroke. He says, I don't get strokes, motherfucker. I give them. <laughs> I forgot what movie that was. Dude, pissing in a beer bottle. Let, let wow, me say, that's, that's, that's that, is hi, that is high level talent because you got to line things up just right. And then you can't even like press into it because then it's airtight. And then you've got a, a positive pressure situation. So you mm-hmm. have to like press, but then tilt to allow the air to come out as the liquid's going in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's a sketchy situation. I, I'm out on that. I'm a full Gatorade bottle. Gatorade bottle is is the one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Pisky. <laughs> Let me get caught up. <laughs> I'm hilarious. way behind. Okay. We're caught up. I skipped past a bunch of stuff, so if I missed some funny shit you guys said, I'm sorry. I had to just scroll because I was I was getting caught up in the in the weeds. But yeah, I thought that was perfectly mellow, man. Peeing in a bottle. I'd much rather do that than get out of the tent in the middle of the night, man. You gonna drink any more of this thing? Yeah. I, I got I got off on the whiskey because my man gave a super chat and asked mm-hmm. for a taste. So then I started drinking whiskey. And then I got sidetracked. This Tower Forty Four is really good though. That's really good. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Yeah, it's tasty. That guy is doing fun things. I hope he comes out with more. More flavors. You know what I mean? All right, guys. It's official. I finished one. First live stream ever. And I'm cracking into a second cigar. Write it in the books, ladies and gents. Write it in the books. Two cigars, one live stream. Two, two girls, one cup. You know, lighting these kind of turd shape or torpedo cigars, it's, it's, always, it's always a little risky, man, because like at the tip, it's hard to get them lit because you don't have a lot of surface area there. So a lot of times like I'll get them lit, but then I always have to end up like touching them up. Can you cut the end too? You could, but I mean, that's not you know, traditionally the way it's done. Mm. Rune King up in the hizzy. I brought my girl, Solar Child, to the live. Everyone say hello. 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 I thought you were going to talk about solar panels for a second there, uh, Rune. Sorry, I stuttered on that. But I was like, solar, solar what? Solar Child. Her name's Solar Child? Maybe that's her, like, uh, screen name. Oh, screen name. I thought it was her real name. I was about to say, dude, that is some straight, like... Um, Parents were a hippie. Yeah. What was the people that um, the names were? Uh, um, oh, who was it? I think it was like Frank Zappa. One of his kids was like named Moonbeam or something like that. Was it one of their kids like Moonbeam? I don't know. I think one of their kids' name was Moonbeam. But yeah, that that's some um, that's some hippie stuff. I like it though. I don't know if it's a screen name or a real name. But either way, it's it's cool. I like it. I did think you were going to be saying something about solar panels, though, for a hot second there. Solar. Solar. <laughs> Rune King. Uh, hello to Solar Child. How are you tonight? Hope everything's going well. Hope everything's going good. Hopefully you're having a good night. If you're hanging out with Rune King, you're probably having a pretty good time. Um, Let's see here. Let me get... Oh, Rune King. Oh, Rune King. Oh, Rune King. Moon it, unit. Moon unit. That's what it was. Hmm. Solar child. I like solar energy. I do too. We were just talking about that, solar child. We were just talking about that earlier in the, the live stream. I had to uh, teach my wife the difference between, uh, she was thinking that people were running stuff straight off solar panels. And I was explaining to her that normally with solar panels, you charge a battery bank and then you run things off the battery because you have to convert the power to DC or AC and all the things. Anyway, we were talking about that earlier, but solar panels are cool. I agree. Solar is awesome 
And being that we live in the Sunshine State, and I mentioned that in my video, I don't know why I haven't gotten into that earlier. We live in like one of the best states in the United States for solar. Yeah. It's sunny here all the fucking time. Or most of the time. Yeah, that was it. Moon unit, Dweezel, or du Dweezel. Yeah, Dweezel and Amit. Amit. Moon unit, Dweezel, and Amit. Who was that? Was it Frank Zappa? Yeah, somebody said it was, um, yeah, Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa? That's some straight hippie shit. How much does it cost to put solar panels like on your roof? I don't know. Elon I've Musk. Seen houses in the neighborhood that have that. Elon Musk had some really cool ones, and I don't know if they ever actually did it, or if it was like a thing that he was talking about, or if he actually came out with it. But it was like shingles that were solar panels. Oh, no, so these are like. No, these are like solar panels. But I remember, and again, I don't remember if it was just a prototype or if it was something he did and they never did it or if it's actually something that came out and it's just big, big money. But it was like, it looks like shingles. Like the whole roof is solar. Huh. And it's like solar panel shingles, basically. Huh. So you basically turn your entire roof into one big solar panel, which is, in Florida, we would have more than enough power to run everything we need because Florida gets a lot of sun. Uh, but yeah, it, w it would definitely be cool. You just, you have to get big batteries and put them in your garage. So your house doesn't run just straight off the solar panels. There's usually like a whole system of conversions and cause you, you have to convert it's like partially or something. Right? Well, is that what you mean? Because like the reason, another reason, like some things run off of solar and some things run, run off of electric. No, oh. because it's like this, if it ran off solar, then at night you wouldn't have any power. Right. So what it does is there's usually a big bank of batteries that are in your garage. The solar charges the batteries yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you run everything off the batteries. Yeah. So that way the solar is always topping the batteries off. And yeah. then when there's no solar, because it's nighttime. So I figured it like charge, they like charge up during the day. Or they whatever. charge up during the day and then you can, during the day when you're using it, the solar panels are keeping the batteries topped off. So it never really. Yeah drains them and then at night when the sun goes down there's no solar you start draining the batteries but you never run it down far enough to before the next day yeah you know what i mean yeah i wonder how much something like that costs hmm. no it's not cheap it's not cheap uh i know some of the blue eddy some of the systems they sell now i don't know i think they sell whole i know they sell whole home backup systems i can't remember if they sell whole home just like meant to be off grid all the time but um we're like you put enough to run your house all the time i think they do but yeah i mean it's it's tens of thousands yeah of that's kind of what yeah i, I mean it's 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 not you know eight ten grand it's like yeah. 20 40 50 G's. but then i mean it's like I mean, but then I guess, you, but then you have no power bill yeah now the battery is great but i mean i think it's more so just like being like it's just good for the environment or whatever but well because, I mean, you're not really – for you to actually, like, save money, like, it's a long time before you're going to save money. If you well, spend $15,000 on solar panels, like, well, I mean, that's a long time to pay off from saving $300 a month on an electric bill. Well, yeah, but shit, our electric bill is $500 a month sometimes. No. In the summer. It's four. Four. Still $400 a month. That doesn't take very long, Fifteen grand at $400 a month. You know what I mean? That's yeah, what? A couple years? Four. My math wrong. Four hundred dollars a month. How many months? How many months does that take? I don't know. Don't ask me to do math this time of night. Four hundred dollars a month. So it's fifteen thousand bucks. I know What's it's four hundred times twelve. Divided by four hundred. Four thousand eight hundred. Thirty-seven months. So. Okay. Well, I guess in that case. The the problem is. If you're gonna stay in the place. You know what I mean. The, the only problem the, the only problem <laughs> is that I haven't figured out I need to do more research on it is you know people say it's better for the environment well is it completely right so it's kind of like electric cars are electric cars really better for the environment well they don't run off gas but I've seen a lot of stuff where they say those batteries are pretty fucking bad for the environment so the lithium that they run off of, they right, have to. Right, but if it's for your car, I mean, if it's for your house, though, 
the batteries still go bad and have to be replaced. Yeah. How, it, like? Uh, 10 years. Yeah. And what they were saying, some of the people I've heard, look, it's, it's all give and take, right? Nothing's perfect. Nothing we've come up yet to this point, from what I can tell, is a perfect solution. Um, but from what I've understood, the lithium is real bad. Like they only mine it in certain areas. It's really hazardous to mine. Like I don't think we'd let them mine it in the United States. I think they only mine it in China because it's just horrible shit. And then you can't do anything with it after. Like you can't just put it in the garbage. Yeah. So some of the people that are like, hey, like we need to really look at this, that this that are like they're they're not saying that solar's bad. They're not saying that, you know, the electric cars are bad. They're just saying, look, it's not this perfect solution that everybody makes it out to be. Everything has its ups and downs. Maurice said that the government covers 75% of it. Yeah, I know in Florida, especially because I see those damn ads all the time. It's so annoying on so YouTube. So why don't people do that more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. I uh, am, yeah, see... Edward's saying, go look at the solar graveyards. Yeah, apparently like the, yeah. Pa the panels themselves are not great for disposal purposes, and they go bad eventually. The batteries are not great for the environment, and they go bad eventually. So what people are saying is yeah. not, not that it's bad necessarily, but like you got a lot of the people making... It's not just all... Right, you got a lot yeah. of people making out like, we have to get away from gas because this is the way, and it's like it's kind of the same in a different way. Yeah. You know, it's not really any better. It's just different, you know? It's got its own drawbacks, you know? Right. Um, so we'll see. That is a lot. We shall see. I do like solar, though, uh, like with the y units. And I think it, I think it's definitely a cool thing to have, especially as a backup. You know what I mean? Um, just where you can, if your power goes out, your house just keeps going. Yeah. And if you're doing it that way, your batteries will probably last even longer because you're not draining them every single time. Because batteries have a cycle life. So you can only drain the battery to empty and back to full so many times. Just like your phone. Yeah. You know, after so many times of charging it, it starts to not want to hold a charge. So it's a little different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Florida, I want to say there's like a thing where I can't remember. I want to say it's almost free in Florida. Like some states, the government pays more than others. But I want to say like in Florida, it's almost free. And I want to say there's certain situations in certain counties and states and whatnot where you can actually sell power back to the power company. Yeah, it's weird. You got to look into it. But yeah, I think you can actually reverse when your batteries are topped off it will feed the energy back through the line and you can actually sell power back to the you power get like company. a credit or yeah something. you get like a credit uh i'd have to look into it more i'm probably talking out my ass on that but i know there's some weirdness with that and um i don't know but yeah solar child said very well said negatives and positives positives to everything i agree that's what i'm saying yeah. I, I don't think that the, i don't think the solar and the battery stuff's bad by any stretch but um I think some people aren't realistic about the fact that it all has its pros and cons, right? All these people are like, screw oil, and we have to stop all the cars from running on gas. And it's like, pump the brakes, Roscoe. Like, yeah, no, I agree. Like, we, we don't need to go there, okay? Like, I agree we should always be looking for alternative means, but just to throw one out the window that's been working for 150 years, <laughs> you know, it's like, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. Super chat from Michael. Thank you for super chat. Thank you to, if you camp in the Midwest, let me know. Uh, NWMI is sick. MWMI. Northwest Michigan. There you ah, go. Ah, okay. If you did 33%, 33%, 34% bourbon, what would you go with? What? If you did 33%, 33%, 34%, what would you go with? My fuzzy call is... ECBP Russell Single Barrel Kentucky Owl number 11. I don't know what the hell we're talking about 33, 33, 34. Like the blend? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like if you're blend, if you did, if you're like blending three, 
I'm so confused, bro. You got to remember, Michael. Clar- clarify. In, we're in running chat. a little slow tonight because me and her are both tired. I feel like both of us have taken an IQ hit of at least 10, 12 <laughs> points. Um, I'm a little fuzzy today. ECBP, Russell Single Barrel, Kentucky, out number 11. I'm not sure your question is. I don't know how to answer it. Um, I do like almost all Elijah Craig barrel proofs to some degree. I like some way more than others, obviously. Uh, Russell single barrel delicious. Kentucky out 11. Do you have that? I have Kentucky out. Yeah, I do have 11 right there. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's, it's not any, it's not uh, Kentucky out. Oh, I see. With the 11 on it. I see. Um, I like Kentucky out 11. But I wouldn't say it's even in my top 30 bottles. Um, so it would not be, depending on what you're saying here, that would not be in my list. I don't think it compares to those two personally. I like it. It's good whiskey, but I don't, and, and to, for me, it doesn't stack up to the other two. Um, let me get caught up because I'm behind here. Dude, there are people talking about this hydrogen stuff, right? Yeah, what's that? So, yeah, dude. That's some crazy. St- that's some crazy stuff, right? So, uh, supposedly there's like, wa- there's engines out there that run on water. They run on what? Water. 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 Hydrogen. Water. And um, um, supposedly okay. it's like a completely clean, like the emissions are nothing because it's just hydrogen. So the it's like, just there's no pollution to it. But it okay. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I have not dove deep enough down that road. And the car has, like, power? Like, it can go Yeah, no. Suppo- supposedly, it's like a, it's like a thing. Um, and I don't know how all that works. Um, like I said, I have not gone deep enough in the research on that. But um, the little bit I've heard, I was like, wait a minute. But then there's like conspiracy theories to like, oh, well, they won't let it happen because there's too much money in the other stuff. And I, so who knows? Like, I, I'll, I'll do a little more digging. I don't want to say anything. And people be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, so they're saying hydrogen cells are fuel cells in an electric car. So they would take hydrogen cells instead of like the lithium. So they would still be battery powered cars, but instead of being the lithium shit, I guess if it's hydrogen, then it's not bad for the environment, I suppose. I don't know. That's what I said. I'm not first enough. The emissions are water, but it's not as cut and dry as it seems. And that's never is right. And that's why I said I'd have to do my own digging because it, that's like with electric cars, right? When they first started talking about electric cars, everybody was like, this is the way electric cars are completely green. And then you see all these solar panel graveyards and these lithium mines that look like a hellscapes. You're like, okay, so maybe fucking electric cars aren't quite as Daniel perfect. Daniel said it's, it splits the hydrogen atom and expels the H2O. But Jose said the guy that invented that technology disappeared super fast dead. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I've I've heard all this like mixed stuff online about it, like that they're trying to cover it up. And like the guy that invented it got just got disappeared. And, um, you know, there's so I haven't done enough research to to speak even remotely intelligently enough on it. But I have heard. Oh, I see. The byproduct of a hydrogen fuel cell is water. Mm hmm. Okay. Water comes out the tailpipe. Well, I don't think it's like liquid water. I think it's like steam. It wouldn't just be like you're riding <laughs> down the road. There's like a fucking hose. There's a hose. That's just what sh- I'm imagining. I'm like, this seems, this does not seem like a good All the roads idea. would flood. Like what was happening? No, I think it's just like steam. steam? I think it'd be like maybe. I don't, so I don't know enough about it. Like, like exhaust, but it would be. But it would be like water vapor. Vapor. Right. Yeah. Why did we get on this subject? Because I clearly know nothing and I'm going to look. No, dude, this one, I'm out on it, too. I really, I know, I know nothing. (laughs) Well, we shall see. Piper said it would be an actual greenhouse effect on the planet. Like, it would not be good for that. For Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Either. Why is that screen so small? Like, too much of anything is not good, you know? I feel like that screen, oh, I bet you that the thing's in, like, photo mode or something. See how narrow that is? Um, No. 
Yeah, and and that's the thing, right? Is it 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 is um cross you out. I feel you. <laughs> it, it's like they always tell us this next thing is like the next big best thing and then down the road you find out, "Oh. No, that's actually going to create greenhouse gases. It's going to make fucking us all die." You know what I mean? Like it's it's Maybe so- my car is actually a hydrogen car. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what all the water is sloshing around. Uh, you know, it's kind of like... it's actually not the blinker fluid. It, it's it's kind of like... You, it's hydrogen atoms splitting. It is. It's the blinker hydrogens. <laughs> um, it's like a quirk. It blinks in and out of existence. Yeah. You know what a quirk is? A quirk? I think it's called... I have quirk. lots of quirks. No, I think it's called a quirk or a quirk. Is it a quirk? A quirk? A quirk. In a car? No. Oh. It's like um, when you start getting into uh, what's the fucking thing that Neil deGrasse Tyson gets. Oh, the, like black holes and shit. No, even further than that. What's it? What's the the study of? Uh, uh, oh goddamn! Y'all listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson. That'll make your brain hurt. What's the okay. fucking the study? That dude it's, is it's, so it's smart. It's the study of like oh god, my, see this is a stroke. This is why I shouldn't, especially not at toward the end, ten fifteen on a night when I'm already tired. What's it? The the fucking um, quirk, but it's not physics. What is the shit? The people that study stuff like quirks. What are those guys called? Physicist, physicist, astrophysicist, physicist. Yeah, physicist. Is it physics? I don't know what astrophysics. You're talking about. Quark. <laughs> Everybody's like, quirk. Isn't that the thing that like blinks in and out of existence? It's like there, but it's not. I'm pretty sure it's a quirk. Okay. It's like there until, until you try to observe that it's there and then it's not there or some weird shit. It's some of that weird, like super mind bendy shit they start talking about where you're like, what? Maybe it's a twerk. No, it's definitely not a twerk. Oh. <laughs> James, Jose twerk. says, nerds. <laughs> Subatomic particles? Yeah, it's like subatomic particles. They're called quarks, though. And if I'm not mistaken, they blink in and out of existence. Like quantum mechanics. I think that's the word I was looking for. Quantum physics. Quantum physics, quantum mechanics, that whole thing. All those fucking super nerd dudes that are like way too smart for their own good. Dark side, are you telling me to read Neil deGrasse Tyson's book? Mm. I would get lost. I don't think I could. I love hearing him talk. I would get lost within five minutes. I, yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm sure it's amazing. I just, I don't think that, uh, I don't think I'm smart enough to read it. Uh, <laughs> even listening to him talk, I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, he's the only quirk I know is from Deep Space Nine. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are the Astrophysics. best. Astrophysics. It's all that shit. I, I tell you, another guy that's really fun to listen to him talk is that. Uh, oh fuck! See, my brain is not working tonight. He's a British guy. Is his name Tony? Brian Cox. Wormhole. I think his name's Brian. The Cox. wormhole. That's what I was thinking of. Brian Cox. Mason, I'm, thank I'm, you. I'm pretty certain his name is Brian Cox. Um. He's a British dude, and he's like the British version of Neil deGrasse Tyson. He starts talking about the universe and how big the universe is and space and Big Bang theories and the existence of matter and antimatter and all the shit. And next thing you know, your brain hurts, and you're like, what the fuck is going on right now? Uh, I'm smoking the cigar of the night. This is my second one because it was a little bitty dude. Normally I don't even get through one in the live, but I already finished one. I'm on my second. It's a Zeno. What is this thing called? A Zeno platinum. This is the chubby. Uh, is it scepter? Specter. Specter. Zeno platinum specter. And this is the chubby. A little short chubby guy. Somebody was asking what cigar we're smoking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rune King says the dilithium crystals power the enterprise. <laughs> crystals. Crystals. <laughs> crystals. Just talking about those people that think crystals like cure you and shit. They're like my knee hurts. Crystals. Uh, uh, 
Are you struggling, babe? Yeah. We have jumped from bitching about the HOA to quantum physics to uh, blinker fluid. It's it's been an interesting evening. We we've jumped around. We've jumped around a good bit tonight. Lots of ups and downs. Lots of ups and downs tonight. This is what happens when me Ins and Ins and outs. This is what happens when lots of ins, lots of outs, lots of what have yous. What movie is that from, Al? I don't know. <sighs> I know the line. I just don't know what it's Because I from. say it all the time. I only know it because you say it. I, don't I say it all where. the time. I was like, whenever something's comp, I'm like, there's lots Anchorman. of ins. Lots of ins. Anchorman. Lots of outs. Is that it? Lots of what have yous. No. Not Anchorman. Let's see if the chat. Let's see if the oh, chat. Oh, the chat will know. The chat will know. Lots of ins, lots of outs, lots of what have yous. Mauve. There's lots of strings. I'm not going to say the next line because then it's going to give away what movie it is. Let's see if the chat says it. Not yet. The, ch the it chat takes 20 seconds. Does it take 20 seconds? Yeah. So I could just stand here for 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. That would be a very boring bit if I just time. if I just. Could you imagine? It'd be like it froze. It'd be like if you're frozen. You're froze. It'd be like no. If I'm you just, were just like. Nope. Just. <laughs> they would be like you. Probably be like no. We're waiting for you guys to to say the line. What movie? There's lots of ins, lots of out. Oh, piss bottle and piss bottles. That's right. Oh Vic. yeah. We had Viking. a whole 15 minutes on. Piss we had bottles. a whole 15 minutes on piss bottles. We went from piss bottles to quantum physics to the Big Lebowski. The, Gustavo won it. Gustavo with the win. Actually, red headliner said the dude, which is still the, the dude. Oh, that counts. That counts. That's legit. Gustavo came in. Red headliner said the dude. Jeremy came in with it. They're all coming in with it now. The dude by. It's I uh, see. They knew. I knew they knew. I knew they knew. It's your turn to shine, Winnie. Mauve. Is it Mauve? What was her name Mauve? Was it Mauve or Mauve? Mauve. Lots of strings in the old duder's head. This. I'm gonna sit on this top of this pillow. Come on. Uh oh, it's Winnie time, y'all. It's Winnie time. Jump. For all you guys that hung into the end, Winston time. There we go. There he goes. Look, got you on a pillow. Oh, look at that. That's comfy, huh? <laughs> He's like, what is going? He's like, I don't know about this. Pillow. He's like, I don't know about the pillow. Look, I... You're missing a leg. There. There you go. He's like, I just kind of like. I just kind of like. And, and, and I just kind of like being in your lap. Look, he's already. You're not into that? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Travis said he's never seen that movie. Go ahead and roast him. I'll let it slide, Trav. Here's the thing I never roast anybody for missing oh, one movie, Trav. right? Everybody's got movies that they should have seen that they haven't, which, by the way, The Big Lebowski, you should, Travis, watch that some night. Everybody's got it's when it's multiples. It's boring, Travis. right? It's it's when you have like a list of five or six of the classics that you haven't seen. Then it's roast time. Then it's roast time. One miss, all good, all good. Mallrats is another good movie. Not the movie that the line came from, but another good movie. Look, that's all. That's all. It's a, his eyes are already getting thin. Just a couple rubs, and he's like. Oh, can you hear him? Mm, he's starting his groaning. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Jose's out. Later on, Jose. Have a good shift, buddy. And I did say shift, not shit. Uh. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Look at, look at him. I'm to cut your nails, Winnie. You actually probably wouldn't want to pet him because he bites. He's a dick. No, he wouldn't bite you. Would you? No. He, he doesn't bite like everybody. But of all of our dogs, he is He's the one. a little nippy. He is the one most likely to bite somebody. Now, he doesn't. It's not like he's a biter that he bites everybody that comes in our house. We have people in and out of here all the time. He doesn't bite people. But of our dogs, he is the one that has the. Has the potential to bite. We'll say that. The pit bull, by the way, never. The one that everybody says, ooh, the dangerous pit bulls are so bad. No. No. Now, if you broke into our house, I think Rosie might get with it. 
Yeah, I think she would. I think she would because she gets a little weird like when people are in the front yard and shit. But she's super friendly, though. But if we walked out there, she'd be like, hey. No. What's no, up? I mean, I walk around the front yard with her. I, I go out, leave the door open, call her out to my truck. I don't even put her on a leash. I don't worry about her. A, she listens really well. And B, she's just as sweet as can be. Mm-hmm. Ed wants to know when the next barbecue video is coming. Well, Ed, I don't have it planned yet. But um, I have several videos in the pipeline that I would like to do. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I know I've got the cutting board we're dropping before too long. So I'll probably time some barbecue content around that. And I've also got some barbecue sponsors coming up that it always makes sense to align sponsors with content that makes sense for those sponsors. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we have a... Don't we have a... Um, What's the meat people that I like a lot? What? The meat, the meat people that I, I get that we, we've done sponsorships with a few times, and I really like their ribs and stuff. Um, like the box that we get. Yeah. Oh God, Porter. Like the, Porter Road. Oh, okay. Uh, I think, I think we're talking to them about doing another uh, okay. sponsorship on the channel, and if we do a Porter Road. Usually they'll provide the meat for the video and we'll do some kind of barbecue video because it makes sense to align like topics with sponsors. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, don't know for sure, but there will definitely be some coming. Faux show. Porter Road, by the way. Those ribs. Their ribs are so good. Look at this. Oh, there he goes. Eyes closed. He's, he's going. He's in his happy He's spot. He's like swaying back and forth. He's like, oh, I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm going. You going out, Winnie? <laughs> I looked at him. He's like, what? Tired. What? Don't look at me. He said, take me to bed, Mom. <laughs> He's like, don't look at me when I'm making my O face. Oh, dude, the Blackstone. Whew. Let me tell you about the Blackstone, and then we'll go, because we only got a few minutes. We'll talk about next week's cigar, and then we'll, we'll, we'll start wrapping up. The Camp Blackstone that they just came out with. I cannot wait to use that. I'm going to use that on the trip. Uh, it's pretty great, dude. It's like a Camp Blackstone. It's a nonstick surface for camping, which is nice for cleanup and stuff when you're camping because you don't want to have to do a bunch of bullshit when you're out camping. And I think it's a 20-inch griddle, 20-inch. has a lid closed up. It's a, a little bit bigger than like a Coleman double burner situation. It's a little bit bigger than that. But still folds up. It's got a handle. Real nice portability stuff though at the back of your truck. Man, I can't wait to use that camping. My uncle got one. He just used his and uh, this past weekend camping, and he said it was it was the winner of the trip. He's like, man, they did bacon and eggs. He said you can cook about a pound of bacon at a whack on that thing, so you can really bust out a bunch of bacon if you got a bunch of people eating. Um, seemed great. I got mine. They haven't. I think they're only available at Walmart, if I remember correctly. I bought mine locally at Walmart. Walmart has all of the uh, like Blackstone. Yeah, but uh, I don't know why. Like I don't. But I mean, I don't think Blackstone. And stuff. But I don't think Blackstone even sells it on their site. Oh. I think it's like a Walmart exclusive thing because I, I'm not mistaken. You can only get it at Walmart. But um, I bought. I picked one up the other day, and I haven't got a chance to cook on it yet. But I have thoroughly checked it out, and it looks Great. badass. I do know a couple guys that have cooked on theirs, and it's getting rave reviews. Everybody I know that bought one really, really digs it. And it keeps you from having to p pack pots and pans, really. If you have you a, a big griddle like that camping, maybe have a, a, a one pot or something to do some water or pasta or whatever that in. It saves you from needing all those pans and stuff in your mess kit because you don't need a pan. You got a big-ass griddle. You can cook anything on pretty much. I still will probably always keep an iron skillet or something to throw in the fire in case you run out of gas or whatever. You still got a way to heat up stuff. But... um it definitely is a nice to have. And you can cook some grub on a griddle, bro. We use our, we don't have a Blackstone, the full size, and we have the Traeger Flat Rock. And we... We use the shit out of that thing. God, we use the shit out of that thing, dude. We cook on our, uh, I agree, James, Meat Church is awesome. I love that guy. Mm -hmm. Matt, Matt is like the coolest guy. He's super nice. Um, plus, he's a hell of a cook. Uh, but yeah, we use, uh oh, he's going. There goes the, the nod. We use our Blackstone, uh, well, ours isn't a Blackstone. Like I said, it's the Flat Rock. We use our Flat Rock, I would say, more than any other grill we have. Easy. 
just because you can also use it for breakfast and stuff. Like I use my smokers and stuff, but I pretty much only it's use. Just, you can do anything on. I it. pretty much only use my smokers for like dinners, right? For like smoking butts and you know doing stuff like that, chicken. That fucking flat top, man. You can do well, and it's just for us for like, you know, a family of five or whatever. You, you can just cook everything at once. Yeah. Even even just like grilled cheeses or something like simple, where you'd have to do like one or maybe two in a frying pan. You can make ten of them. Slap bitches on them the, all out on there. Yeah, big old huge like home version of a, a flat top. Did you can do ten of them at once? I was like pancakes is one batch. I fill up the whole griddle with pancakes, and then by the time I get them all poured out, usually the first one I poured is almost ready to flip, go through, start flipping, and within about five minutes, you got about fucking 15 or 20 pancakes. Just dunk, 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 dunk. I mean, it's, it's nice. And on the full-size griddle, I can usually do two pounds of bacon, a little over two pounds of bacon at once, which is nice. Uh-huh. Yep, look, he's out. They're saying he's out. <laughs> That dog is so fucking useless, man. Uh, it's not so useless, dude. Yeah, Spade said it's a Walmart exclusive. Yeah, I thought so because I remember when it when I first saw somebody announce it, I immediately went to the Blackstone website. I couldn't find it. I'm like, well, what the fuck? And then somebody said it was at Walmart only, and then you could find it at Walmart. But it's just funny that they have it at Walmart and don't sell it at their own fucking. I mean, I guess that's what the exclusive. But you would think that. Yeah, Black it's just like something yeah. special. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, what's next week's cigar? Um, we got to get off here. It's 1030. Let's see. <laughs> he said on sale at Kmart. Do they even still have Kmart? I think that whole company went out, didn't it? Oh, fuck. When I was a kid, I used to love Kmart. My mom would take me when I was a kid. I'm go shopping at Kmart. I'd get one of them soft pretzels and an icy. Shit, dude. Shit. I thought I was in the house. I used to love uh, Kmart. Yeah, dude, when you were a kid, your mom would go shopping at Kmart to, to get some shit. You'd be in a stroller. She gives you a soft pretzel, fucking cherry icy. Fuck, dude, I was in heaven. I was as good um, as it got. What's next week? The 17th. Oh, this is a good one. People were excited about this one in the Patreon. What's that? London the Ripper. Oh yeah, the the J London Ripper. Oh J. J London. J London the Ripper. The Ripper. Yeah. And it's on sale. Or something. <laughs> Not yeah. supposed to say that. Yeah, about a dollar off. A little, yeah. bit, a little bit over a dollar off. Yeah. Okay. You know what we were talking about, and you know, people are saying there. And this is the last thing we're gonna say before we get off for the night. We were this. This is something that I, I truly miss from my childhood, and that made me think of it because people were saying there are two Kmart physical Kmart's left in in, in the U.S. or whatever. Uh, last he heard, anyway, he said, and this one I heard there's only one left from what I understand. Last I heard, and it upsets me because this is something as a child I used to really enjoy going there. The Pizza Hut restaurants. Yeah, that was when, the best. When you would go in there and they had like the 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 red cups they had the the, the, red cups. the, the checker and it was the good they had ice the best fountain cokes yeah it was the good ice yeah. and they had the the white Clear ice. they had the white and uh, white and red checkered tablecloths they had the like Tiffany style lampshades yeah. that were like the like amber like stained glass it was always dark as fuck in there yeah the food I was saying the lights were like amber the, yeah the foods like, were like the, the lights it was dim in there. And you could go in, and they brought the pan pizza out in the pan. Had, it was carpeted. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, that shit was so. When I was a kid, I fucking loved going to Pizza Hut so much. I loved it. Too. There used to be one right there on the corner of San Jose and Old San Augustine Road, like where the Bubbles Car Wash is uh -huh. now. That was a Pizza Hut there, and we used to go. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I remember, that was still a Pizza Hut when I first moved here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's not where bubbles, but it's, you know. No, it's right there. Yeah, it's, it's in that right parking there. lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it was, I don't know, man. Times are simpler. When I was a kid, you took me to Kmart, got me an icy and a soft pretzel, and then I got to go to a fucking Pizza Hut, get a good soda and a fucking pan simpler pizza. Times, I was buddy. happy as a fucking clam, bro. I was happy as a clam. Nowadays, kids got to, fucking, they don't know how to enjoy themselves, man. Yeah. Shit. Play outside all day, go to Pizza Hut at night. Shit. That was good times, man. That was good times. But anyway. All right. 
We're going to wrap it up. It's 1030. We're going to get out of here. So next week, we got a good cigar, the Ripper. The Ripper. The Jay London Ripper. Jay London has one of my favorite Connecticut, so I'll be uh, curious to see how the Ripper turns out in the, the thing. I used to as, love Little Caesars, too. Yeah, but that's a different kind of thing. That's not as nostalgic as Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. It's pizza. No, you didn't go in there. there we there used was to get takeout there all the time, and you pizza got the Hut. pan pizza. It was the square pizza. Didn't Pizza Hut also have jukeboxes? Yeah. Yeah. See, there's a nostalgia there, man. Pizza Hut was the shit. Yeah. Anyway, pe- sorry. People don't know how to live these days. But anyway, uh, I'm excited about the cigar next week. Uh, should be a video coming out probably tomorrow-ish. So definitely go check that shit out. And uh, got the roof rack going on the truck. Got the build more of the build coming soon uh got the trip up to georgia we'll be filming soon that'll be going on next week so lots of cool shit coming in the future (sighs) and um we'll see you bitches next week stay tuned be there be square all that good stuff hi winston is out like a fucking light over there it's like he's been hit with a fucking tranquilizer dart (laughs) swear to god all right guys (laughs) hope everybody uh, hope everybody has a good week. Love you, bitches. Bye. Bye, smooches. Oh, hi. Did you hear me say bye? <laughs>